All right, here we are. It's New Year's Day. We're going to do something special today. Today is the run back. Dark Souls run back. So I guess this is a story for you two, but we kind of, well, we didn't hard flush the game. We'll just say we soft flushed it. So <laughs> this is my revenge of the game. We were playing this game for a little bit and then something happened. I don't remember Coke Zero and I wanted to play something else. And I'm like, yeah, we'll, we'll finish this up later. And that never happened. And that was like over a year ago or something. So here is Dark Souls. We're playing the remastered version, not the other versions. I didn't want to go through the headache of setting things up and patching things up. So I just grabbed whatever the latest version is. It's got like 4K resolution, probably looks better. But, you know, it's still the same game from what I've heard of talking to Bunky and Nightmare. So it's good to go. Uh, these kind of games, we want to get through this in a timely manner. So I'm going to enable full backseat mode on this game. The chat is free to speak on anything. So you guys can go full Nintendo fan mode on me while we're playing this. Do you know what bill you're going to? Yeah, I got an idea, which I'll explain. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I played Demon's Souls twice. I really enjoyed Demon's Souls. These are the kind of games I would never play. If you guys didn't ask me to, definitely not my type of game. Uh, but Demon's Souls, like I said, I, I, I was Jones in the play the second time, so that was really fun. Dark Souls is, you know, obviously a similar game. It's the start of a, another series that was, you know, like Demon's Souls, but it was for the PlayStation. But we're playing on Steam, so that's nice. And try not to sto uh, spoil the story chat. Come on, Bunky. It's going to be cryptic anyways. They couldn't, they couldn't spoil the story even if the chat even tried. All right, don't make me ro roll my eyes back further when it comes to the story mode in these kind of games. And yeah, okay. So let's, let's do this. I tried to set up some of the settings before we started the stream. You guys see the picture, right? You guys good to go? I put the UI scale up back a bit, but in every other setting I kept the same. And resolution is cranked. Everything looks good. I turned off motion blur. Uh, I'm using the Steam input, so I don't know. Hopefully this is playable on the PS5 controller. <clears throat> and here we are. All right. Uh, I don't even know which class we're starting off with, but the build I kind of want to use, because I was talking to Bunky and Nightmare about this, is I want to use a build that uh, I really enjoyed using the Bastard Sword and Claymore in Demon's Souls. When we first played Dark Souls, this is for the YouTube, we, I wanted a weeb build. And we ended up like killing some merchant and we stole his katana. And we were using this katana for most of our playthrough. But I wasn't really feeling it. So I want to go back to using like a great sword. Not like the normal default sword, but, but the sword that's like one step higher. And not the sword that's all the way, that's like the gut sword. Or that dragon bone sword or whatever. Yeah, Claymore, Bastard Sword. And then I want to spice it up and and Bunky and Nightmare told me there was like some kind of build I can use where I can I wanna use some magic to like enhance my weapon. So that's like kind of the build I'm looking at right now. Alright, what do you guys wanna play? You guys wanna play as a guy or a lady? Probably play as a guy. I'm not gonna go crazy on the the customization. So who should we start off with? If we're going for like a great sword, and we're gonna use some magic. Who would be ideal for this situation? Yeah, and happy New Year's, guys. <clears throat> no dex build going uh, strength build then? I don't know. I don't know what is required. That's for uh, that's for you guys to backseat me and let me know. I know these different uh, classes start at different levels. So their stats are distributed. I know it doesn't really matter who you start off with. I just want to be able to roll quickly and obviously be able to equip uh, the sword as soon as possible. All right, Bunky says warrior. Okay, warrior has a lot of strength, a lot of dex. Level four starts off with. The knight's armor looks like very, very heavy. Lots of vitality on the knight too. Wanderer. Some of these guys have spells too. 
You're basically like picking them for their starting equipment. This guy looks a little like a bandit. He's got an axe though. How's this guy a hunter? He doesn't have a bow. How's this guy a sorcerer? He doesn't have a wand. What the hell? This guy's got an axe too. Cleric, does this guy have heals? Heals are for noobs. Oh, this is the deprived? Starts off at level six. That's strange. Okay, we'll start off warrior. Uh, oh, this is our starting item. What kind of starting item are we going to pick? Yeah, happy New Year's, Luke. It's already New Year's in Brazil. Oh, yeah, you guys are like, you're four hours ahead of me. Damn, happy New Year's already. <clears throat> Vesper, no, the FromSoft backseaters. Yeah, backseating is fine. Makes it fun. Uh, I don't really want a sequence break. We're going to be going through everything in order, so I don't need the master's key. Yeah, you're an expert for it. I'm going to need your help then. I'm going to need your back seating. So what what other items should we grab then? If we're not going to grab the master key. I don't want binoculars. That sounds useless. The pendant has fond memories and it comforts travelers. You are an expert for it. Don't lie. You're also an expert at not buying costumes. Old witch's ring? Black firebombs is useful against the first boss. So there's not really many good choices then. Yeah, everyone mentions Master Key, but I'm not really going to sequence break either. It depended this cannon, yeah? Okay, maybe the old witch's ring then? You guys cool with that? Alright, cool. Uh, oh, physique. Tiny head. Tiny head. Wow, look how small his head goes. Mm -mm. Large upper body. Very slim. <laughs> okay, cool. Alright, we should just go average. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't think we're gonna go like through big customization. We just pick the default everything. Wow, look how happy this guy looks. Wow. He's so happy to that I'm playing Dark Souls again. The run back. We need a uh, Street Fighter 6 customization on this so we can put Vesper in this game. We're not going to see our character's face anymore anyways because we're going to be like a creepy undead dude. Wild hair. All these hairstyles look like the same. Oh, let's pick the ponytail. Cut out hair. Red. Oh, let's just go black. Keep it simple. Boom. We're starting. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. Oh man, the dialogue in this game tilts A land me. Of gray crags. <laughs> Arch trees and everlasting dragons. Everything's so cryptic and unexplained. And then you have all these YouTubers and content creators just talk completely out of their ass. And make and things up to make the story make sense. Disparity. Heat and cold. I see hot. Life and death. And of course. Light and dark. Mm -mm -mm. Pony, thanks so much for the sub. Thanks for the million subs today, guys. Then from the dark. Happy New Year's, came. everyone. Yeah, we're playing some Dark Souls, man. Souls of Lords within the flame. How's the volume, guys? Is this loud enough that I get it right on my first try? Oh, it's gonna show all the creepy bosses. The first of the day. This guy's name is Nito? Which one is his head? Is it the one at the top? The witch of Izalith. 
and her daughters of chaos. The lore makes perfect sense. <laughs> I don't know, man. And his faithful knights. <clears throat> oh no, it's a twist chat. And the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. They all have fire powers. With the strength of lords, <laughs> they challenge the dragons. I hate medieval games, guys. Gwyn's mighty bolts peeled apart their stone scales. <laughs> the witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death. Miasma? Oh no. Nito looks and super annoying. The scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. If I never played this game before and you guys weren't here and I saw this cutscene, I would have flushed it, Thus like right here. Began the age of fire. Dark fantasy? I guess it is. It's called Dark Souls. The flames will fade and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers. And man sees not light, but only endless nights. Huh? And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. Kino? <laughs> Ooh, look at the graphics, guys. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. They remastered it big time. I can see the textures on the walls and stuff. And in this land... The undead are corralled and led to the north. Oh, this place looks friendly. We're at Capcom HQ right now. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world street fighter 6 fans waiting for content this that's me is your fate how did i end up here the alpha 3 designers work that They locked away the guy who leaked the Street Fighter 6? The the Kami cutscene? Oh my god! That was Fort, guys. After he refused to buy costume 3. Or what's left of him anyways. He told Capcom his New Year's resolution. Mm -mm -mm. Cool! Yeah, wow. It looks a lot better than when we last played it. Like, we played the the Prepare to Die version or something. You guys had a bunch, a bunch of patches you guys made me use. But it looks pretty good. Nice. What's this? Pillage Corpse. We got a dungeon key. I wonder what it's for. Alright. Story time, guys. So, you guys are probably wondering what the hell's going on with Street Fighter 6 and Ed. Once in a lifetime, once every 100 years, guys, the date on the calendar is 123123. January 1st, right? December, oh no, it's December 31st into January 1st and the year 23. So the calendar is actually 123123. One, Capcom had the ultimate opportunity to announce Ed today in the best way possible. But instead, they skipped Ed 
showed a crazy render of Akuma and said, Happy New Year's. What do you guys think about that? You guys remember when I said as a joke that as we've been waiting so long for Ed now, five months it feels like. It's been four months, but it's going to be five months soon. And they showed a cutscene of Ed finally, and you guys are like, oh no, it's Ed. And all of a sudden, Akuma comes from nowhere and kills Ed, and Akuma's the next character. Technically, all dates are once in a century, Vesper. Someone banned that guy. I would have preferred that. Yeah, man, so people are super hyped for Akuma, and now it's conspiracy time. I'm hearing crazy stuff. Crazy theories now. Even Willy. Even Willy is saying some crazy stuff. Right, Willy? Willy's thinking we might be getting possibly, maybe, either Akuma stealing his turn with perfect parry or a double, potential double whammy. What do you guys think? It would be very odd if all of a sudden, like, we don't have the Ed Battle Pass. Don't you guys find that a little weird? Where's the Ed Battle Pass? Why hasn't it been data mined? Why is Capcom showing Akuma instead of Ed? Questions that need answering. Vesper, people like to complain about Dry Rush, but you don't see them complain about uh, Manon's Dry Rush. If everyone has Manon's Dry Rush, then no one will complain, right? It's tough to say because um, the three slowest dry rushes are like all grapplers. Lily, Zangief, and Manon. So when you give a character a command grab, who has a command grab, a really fast dry rush, it's scary. Marisa kind of gets a pass because Marisa's uh, command grab is the slowest command grab in the game because she's got to do Scootum first. But I don't know. What's that? Willie says not as slow as JP's dry rush. Okay, I don't even need to explain why J JP's dry rush is slow. Anyways, yeah, it, yeah, detached, crouching, medium punch, dry. Okay, anyways, um, yeah, I mean, slowing down everyone's dry rush can be fine, but you have to consider that it will change combos. For example, if they slow down DJ's dry rush, he won't be able to do dry rush. Uh, into the up the machine gun upper after it's OD fireball. I don't know if you guys even care. Okay, so what are the controls? What are we doing here guys backseat me? Uh, camera controls right joystick What does this one say hey, there's a bad guy here Attack right bumper Wait, I got a broken sword. What the hell? I got a reuse sword a bum sword. I don't even know how it's just a hilt Okay, right bumper Attack. This guy's right here. Take that. And this. And that. That was a Jamie player. Okay, what's this say? Strong attack. Right trigger. Okay, we got our light. And we got our heavy. Who's this guy? Is he alive? 16 damage. 13 damage. Uh... Hold, dash, hold B, B is circle. Okay, we got our run, we got our light, we got our heavy. Can you imagine perfect parry into raging demon? I can imagine, yes. I hope you guys are having a fantastic New Year's and you guys are drinking responsibly. Well, you said uh, they rained a little bit today, so the roads are icy and dangerous. Target lock release. Uh, I think this is R3. It is. Okay, R3 is lock on. Got it. Okay. Oh, how's the how's the overlay, guys? The overlay good? Is the chat covering the money on the bottom right? Did I get it right? I did not have much time to set this up for you guys. We're just kind of leaning it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's all right. Okay. Happy New Year's, Azrael. Wow, look how happy Azrael is. Happy New Year's. Yep, it's a celebration. Mm -hmm. For the YouTubes. 
They missed out. We had a crazy hype train uh, from Vagrant with a huge 10 bomb and Rainbow. Both 10 bombs back to back. It was a celebration. I wasn't even here. I was upstairs. And the chat celebrated without me. Rest at bonfire. Recover HP. Okie dokie. Mm -mm -mm. First bonfire, guys. So, there's some differences between this and Demon Souls, but I don't remember. One of the biggest one is they got rid of the grass. I loved eating the grass. Now we have a stupid flask for heals. Because people were spamming heals during boss fights because they were noobs. So they wanted to make it harder. Let me light this bad boy up. Bam! It's lit. It's time to party! Mm-hmm. That was a huge door. What's this say? Get away. Oh my god! Ah! Nice nightmare got here just in time. Nightmare, I'll, I'll get you caught up. Oh my god! Wait, I'm not supposed to fight this guy, right? I'm supposed to run away. That's how first boss of every Souls game is like that. Or you're supposed to- oh, wait, there's a door right there. You can fight this guy though, right? Like, you can technically beat him. Just takes a long time. I gotta hit him. All I got is a sword hill. You can. Do you get anything cool if you beat him? Oh, the door locked. It takes a long time. Takes getting good. Damn, man. Chat's already making fun of me. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You get his weapon? Oh, you get a hammer? That's kind of cool. Oh, you meant use the black fire bombs on him. Oh. Ooh, that would be pretty cool. But that's all right. That's actually a cool idea. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, you use that to beat the, the extra boss. All right. Light this bad boy up too. Okay. So Nightmare is here and Bunky is here. I got two Captain Backseaters with the rest of the Backseaters. So... Uh, Nightmare, we started off with the Warrior class. Bunky recommended it. Uh, since we're using, like, sword weapons. And... I don't know. He says I just need to get intelligence for... My spell. To enhance my weapon. And our starting weapon... Our starting item or a gift or whatever is this thingy... That Bunky says that I can use it for extra dialogue. Some witch's thing. He said because it's a pain in the ass to get later. But the chat suggested fireballs. Get your shield. Yeah, we got witch's ring. And yeah, and then we just made a generic default dude. Because you can't see his face anyways. And yeah. Oh, wait, wait, how do I roll though? Oh, is this a slow roll, guys? It looks kind of slow. I want, I want full roll. I want pure speed roll. Oh, here comes the arrow. Ah! Heater shield. Okay. Uh, how do we equip items? Left hand. Right hand. Usable arrows. You got the ring. The ring got no stats. Shield. Uh, toggle display. Is there a description thingy? I see a bunch of numbers. Okay, how do we block? Left bumper guard. With left shield equipped. Huh? It's not working. Wait, now it's working. What the hell? How strange. Change equipment. Okay. So what's L2 then? Oh, the parry, right. Got it. I'm... How do I switch it to two-hand mode? I kind of prefer, like, two... I want to, like, do a two-hand run. Oh, there we go. It's it's a triangle. Yeah, I'm more like a two-hand claymore kind of guy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Shields are for noobs. Hey, why is he running away from me? Where is he going? Why is he playing like a Kimberly player? Long sword, nice. We got our first weapon. Mm -hmm. Wow, huge deeps upgrade. Nice. 
I'm mean, gonna need your guys' help to teach me all the different like attacks with the weapons. I, don't, I forgot every I forgot everything how to play these kind of games. Change weapon toggle items. That's pretty intuitive. You just press left or right. Yeah. There we go. Two hand roll. Okay. Oh, there he is. Nope. Got him. Nice. Seventy one. Good deeps. Shields are for pussies, just like magic. What about enhancing my weapon with magic? Is that still make me a wuss? Super sized. Happy New Year's, dude. Happy New Year's, everyone. Yeah, we're playing retro tonight. I thought it'd be a great opportunity. Uh, we could have played Street Fighter tonight. Go through the Ryu struggle, but... I don't know. I, I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to play uh, Dark Souls. Because news is super slow right now for Street Fighter. And... I just wanted to chill today, you know? It's it's New Year's. We're gonna relax. No stress. Uh, no complaining about Ryu. I'll be complaining about this game instead. Ooh, look at the fog. Backstep. Roll. Oh yeah, you just tap it and you backstep. Okay, good to know. But it takes stamina, the green bar. If you roll too much like a noob, your character gets tired and you can't roll anymore. How do I get up there? This game needs ray tracing. Mm -mm. That's good. Super size good luck on your matches, man. Even if you're intoxicated. Yeah, the, 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 you guys were telling me about, like, this game first came out on the PS3, right? So we're playing on PC, I won't have frame rate issues. We're playing in 144 hertz. But that's okay, I'll definitely watch some playthroughs of this game. <clears throat> Where are we now? We're back at the entrance. I see a boulder up there. I see bullshit! Mm -mm. By the way, on my first playthrough, I did get hit by that boulder. And the chat laughed at me. Oh, you. You're no hollow. How did he get in here, this guy? I'm done for, I'm afraid. Oh no. I soon then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Mm -mm. Uh, I'll hear him out. Yes. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. Oh, he's giving me an item. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Wait, if I say no to him, I get no Estus flask? Oh, and this. Nice, and a key too. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. You don't get the SS flask? Okay, so this is one of the things they changed in Dark Souls. Instead of getting grass and different that heals different amounts, now we have this flask I can only use a certain amount of times. I can use it five times. And it heals me, and then I can only refill it at the bonfire. They did that because people were spamming grass like noobs against bosses. Replenish as this flask, which is a good idea. It's a good change they did. And use item. I think that's square, which is X. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. Oh, you still get it even if you don't talk to him? So go now. And thank you. Okay. Nothing is worth than in, in Sekiro. <laughs> yep. The chat will eventually get me to play more of these soul type C games. Whenever we have an opportunity, whenever news is hella, hella slow. 
This is back at the beginning. Demon Souls remake nerfed grass hard. Really? They f they nerfed it too, even the Demon Souls. What's that sound? What happened? Oh no, he died. And he gave me his souls, which is money. Oh, they're attacking me back now. That. All right. More tutorials. Wield right hand weapon, two hand. I already figured that out. Uh, forward kick, jump attack. Okay. The kick is used to guard break, right? If they block. And then we have our jump attack. Resting at bonfire revives enemies. I want to use my jump attack on this guy. Bam! Damn, 105? Huge deeps. I look forward to the Dark Souls 2 playthrough and chat talking shit about that game. One day, we'll see first how I like this game. Oh, I heard the bow. And that arrow moves so slowly. While falling, plunge attack. Don't get to use that too often. Behind enemy crit. And parry. Oh yeah, repulsed. I need to um, use a sh I can't uh, parry with the two-hander, right? I gotta parry with this. Okay, let's test it. Here he comes. Ah! Oh, I missed it. I missed. There we go. Do I press right trigger? Oh, I press R1 instead. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, too early. Ah! I died on the tutorial enemy. Well, that's death one, guys. Add it to the count. Twitch acting. <laughs> well, at least I get to keep my weapon. Yeah, the first of many. Let's brush this guy down. I dodged the boulder, but I couldn't dodge the sword. I can parry, right? Unless I use the shield, right? Oh, I got the crit on him. I screwed up too, because I, I did parry him, but I, I used um, R2 instead of R1. Does the boulder come back? No? Uh, the, the dagger can parry too? Oh, okay. What about those weird fancy swords? Those like bendy kind of swords. Don't those can parry too? I'm trying to remember from uh, Demon Souls. Wow, look at this. There's so many guys here. Bam. Oh no. Oh yeah, you got a rolling a attack banger. too. It's a wow, thanks Warren. Thanks for the subs. Wow, thanks. Happy New Year's, bro. Okay, let's test out this parry again. There's my souls on the floor. Retrieval. I got all my money back. Bam. Nope, I missed. I think I did it too early. Now I did it too late. There we go. Bam. Yeah, parry is really important. But since we're doing two-hander, we're not gonna be, we're not gonna have an opportunity to parry too often, though. Okay. Uh, how do I heal? I press down. No, I press square. Yeah. Drink some of that sludge, that Fortnite sludge. All oh, right, right, right. So they want me to hurt the boss with the plunge attack, R1. Yeah. Wow, look how much damage I did. It's like a crit attack when you jump. Now we got to fight him. 
He's got a huge butt. You just stand behind him. Ah! That's kind of similar to uh, the first boss in Demon Souls. Wow, we do so much damage to him now. What a noob. We did it, guys. We got a big pilgrim's key. How do I do my emotes? Oh, I'm supposed to like feel myself. Wave. Yeah! That's how like nerds play this game. <clears throat> and then they feel themselves how hard the Souls games are on Reddit. But they're actually just bronze players in Street Fighter. Anyways. That's the PvP classic. Oh yeah? Do the point down? Which one's the point down? Uh, the point down? Damn! Mm -mm -mm. Anything else in here? There's no loot in these vases, right? Alright, I guess we got the key for this. I should... Maybe I should heal at the bonfire first, though. What's that sound? You guys hear that? What is that? A Rochi Vesper? <laughs> we might have to get an Orochi Vesper emote. I have some ideas for new emotes now. I gotta talk to Bunky about it. But we need- I need your guys' help for an idea for the Reddit uh, emote. I don't know what, what it should be. Like, how we should do it. PvP in Souls is hilarious. I heard it is. I heard it's crazy cheap. I've never got to experience it, but I'm sure there's a lot of funny YouTube videos and stuff. Even people playing Elden Ring now, I'm sure the PvP is really funny. Good job. Go straight ahead. Wow. Encouraging tutorial. Cool, cool. Yeah, we're done the tutorial area. Wow, I almost fell off. I almost died. Mm -mm. Did I end up playing Fortnite? Well, we played Fortnite a while back when the Street Fighter characters came out. It is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. Wow, that's me. Leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. I guess that's where we're going. Lordran. Lordran. Mm hmm. I could try doing my face in the shape of the Reddit logo. Okay. I will see if Luke is up to the challenge. Mm -mm -mm. Level up and kindle at bonfires. Okay, this is like the hometown, but it's like a bum town. There's no like roof or anything. This is like Capcom HQ after like seven years of no content in Street Fighter 6. Uh, oh right. I don't know this reverse Halloween and Kindle mechanic stuff. You guys are going to have to explain this to me. But first, I kind of want to go over all the different attacks. Hold on. There's an item here. Humanity. <laughs> is this a first run? It's technically, kind of. I played this game like over a year ago. I don't remember anything except for that boulder that went down the stairs. And uh, we played it for a bit and then we soft flushed it. And now we're back for revenge. Now that we have more time because things are slow in Street Fighter. So it's kind of like yes and no, but I didn't go. I didn't get it too far in the game though. I didn't even make it to the halfway point, so. It'll be almost a first run. Uh, reverse Halloween means you spend a point of humanity to turn human. 
When humans, you get more chance of item drops. More humanity, more item drop luck. Okay. It does almost nothing. Yeah, since we're playing offline, I don't think it really matters. In Demon's Souls, there was this, um... World mechanic. I forgot what it was called. And that stuff mattered. It, it depend. It made different, like, NPCs appear and... Different uh, enemies appear to get some cool loot. Yeah, the world tendency. They got rid of that in this game so that they don't have that at all. Now we have like this humanity thing. And we have this Estus flask. Also, being human allows you to summon allies and also lets you invade or be invaded by other players. Okay. So, yeah, since, since like I said, I don't care about PvP, it's not a big deal. World tendency is cracked, yeah. Okay, so what are my different attacks? So I have light. I have heavy, and then there's like a roll attack, right? I got like a stab. Do I have a roll heavy? Oh, I do. It's like a cleave. Any other kind of attacks? I know there's forward attack is like a jump stab. There's the kick. Anything else I need to know? Like I said, I'm mostly going to two-hand this. Backstep is run attack. All oh, right, backstep. That's like a vertical swing. Okay. It's kind of like it's very similar to the rolling attack almost. Well, actually, no, that was a stab. I I remember from Demon Souls like like stabbing and stuff. It. It's, it matters, too, against, like, certain armor types. I don't know. You guys will keep explaining to me. Yeah, shield and parry. We just learned that at the beginning. Who's this guy? Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both and something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go. Our first quest. But I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead. <laughs> no one makes any sense. Ah, your face. You're practically hollow. But who knows? Going hollow could solve My face when Ed didn't get announced today. <laughs> And Akuma instead. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Alright. Where do I go? I think we go down this way towards the cliff. Well, let me explore a little bit. I know the map design in this game is like really, really good. We have like our central hub and then everything starts connecting to each other. Which is really sick. Those Akuma before Ed predictions might come true. I know there was I the first thing I thought about was that dude on on my YouTube comments. I was like, he was like, what do you? Why is everyone talking about Ed Akuma's next? Maybe that guy was onto something. Maybe we all have to apologize to him. Gesture. All right, we already figured that one out too. Who's this guy? Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. Ed is next. Are you sure he's next? Have you business with us? If not, I, I don't think Capcom knows. Us, if possible. <clears throat> no, it wasn't as ready. Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance. He doesn't like me. I want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. 
Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. This guy has huge armor. He gave me a coin. I don't know if I'll be able to buy a costume with that. The thing is, is like, as soon as they even showed a picture of Akuma, everyone went crazy. Everyone's so happy. People are so pumped for Akuma. It's going to save Street Fighter 6. I once got banned from Jay Wall on stream for saying fat rolls while he was playing Dark Souls on stream. It was awkward asking for an unban. Jesus. Oh, speaking of fat rolls. Uh, is this the best roll? It looks a little like leggy, right? looks like there's some recovery on it. Come on, let me take off my pants. It's a medium roll? There's medium rolls? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is way better. The only problem is, is like, I don't know how to balance this up. How do I make it so I can roll better? I have to take the shield off? Even with the shield off. Uh, helmet. Oh. Gloves. What do you think? Should I just... Helmet and gloves and shield. Now we have a super roll. Okay, we can make it work. Alright, cool. But yeah, like I said, guys, when they showed that artwork for Akuma, everyone was just going crazy. The hype. Everyone completely forgot about Ed instantly. There's also a different moveset depending on if you're a one-handed or two-handed. Yeah, I, I, uh, it was the same in Demon Souls for that. But I think I'm going to try to rock a two-hand for as long as I can. I mean, maybe sometimes we will, but I want to... I don't know. I want that, like, big sword feel. Hey, this chest is already open. <clears throat> People forgot about Ed that pulse? They really did. Okay, I think I come back here later. And I remember there's just some skelly bros here. It's like a creepy graveyard. Wow! It's a giant raven. It's crazy. Mm -mm. Can I get this item now? Uh, no, I don't think that's till later. What? That hurt me? What? I can jump that in real life. It wouldn't hurt me. From what the chat is saying, this is Vesper's first Souls game? No, I played Demon Souls twice. And I played this a little bit last year, but I forgot everything, so... It's okay. Just backseat away and, like, don't assume I know anything. Just treat me like I've never played these games before and it'll be very helpful. Yeah, just keep reminding me stuff. Alright, let's start our journey. I'm so excited. Take that. I want backseat unless asked. We're on we I have full backseat Nintendo fan enabled. So go ahead and backseat away. You can backseat anything. And I'm totally cool with it. This is a New Year stream. We're just gonna chill and play. Talk about Street Fighter. Or talk about anything you guys want to talk about. Yeah. You can even like backseat the story, because you know how I feel about the story in these kind of games. It won't matter anyways. It's not gonna make any sense. Wait, who's this guy? What is he doing? Wow, the fire looks so cool in the remaster. I'm gonna kill this guy because he's being annoying. He's zoning me out. Whoa, who's that guy? Oh my god, he's standing in midair. 
Holy shit, it's an ambush! Ah! Oh shit, I'm getting burnt! Oh my god, this piece of shit, I'm gonna fucking... Alright. Uh, oh, we need to heal. We gotta drink some Sunny D. Wow, that guy just flew off. Oh my god. Wow, he's gone! I'm gonna get this loot, because he was blocking it. Souls of the Lost Dead. Get okay. Hey, there's a thing over there on the bridge. Can I get that? Why is this guy attached to my leg? How do I get that? Uh-oh. You gotta jump. I don't think these games are made for jumping. How do you jump? How do I have 10 Estes? I don't know. While holding circle, press circle. Oh god. Okay. Nobody fails the first jump, right? I got this. Ah! Okay, now what? Do I, can I walk around this? Can I walk around this? Ah! Ah! Oh my god, platforming. Reign of Sacrifice. What's that do? Oh my god, we're gonna have to jump back, don't we? Oh shit. It's not good. Okay, 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 okay. I can do this. Ah! Okay, whew. That was intense. You guys are right, this game is hard. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, hold block while moving to walk. Hold block while moving to walk. He's not... Oh, right, you can still block with your sword, but you just take deeps, right? You just take damage. Uh, he's not walking. Maybe if I go one-hand mode? No. He punches. If equipped, you die, you don't lose souls, but rain breaks. Oh, it's like a, a free one-up. That's, uh, what's it called? That's for noobs. That's like a fairy in the bottle. That's fake information. There's no walking. Happy New Year's, Mir. Alright. Let's go grab this loot. Yeah. If you hold block when running, you can force a roll instead of jumping. I don't get it. Oh, there's rats! Nice. You can only walk by moving the analog a, bit, a little bit. That's what I'm doing. But what's Nightmare saying about whole block when running? Oh, you can roll this way. Okay, I see what you're saying. Got it. Does not open from this side. Yeah. Okie dokie. Yay, our first area. Take that. You gotta whiff punish a lot in this game. Bam. <clears throat> Bam. What? Where did that guy come from? He made no sound. What the hell? That guy scared me. Oh, he must have came from this room. Okay. Hmm. With punish or backstab. Yeah, let's keep going.
You know, it's gonna be so awkward too, like... This week, Ed will get announced and everyone's gonna start saying, Well, where's Akuma? You guys showed Akuma. Like, Capcom gets off on showing, like, teasing content that's not coming out for like another five months, you know? With the costume 3s and stuff, coming soon. Akuma looks really old, though. Mm -mm. The HUD looks not crap. Yeah, the chat was telling me the PlayStation 3 version is pretty choppy. Yeah, we're playing the remastered. Before, when we first played this, we played uh, the other version. Like the prepare to die or something with a bunch of patches, but... I don't want to go through the headache of setting it up again, so... This is fine. Whoa, what's that? Oh my god! <clears throat> yeah, but now the game is smooth like butter. What if Akuma and Ed are the same person? Uh... Like I said, Akuma, he looks jacked and he looks super old. Very old. He looks like he's seen some shit. He's been waiting for Ryu to succumb to the Satsui no Hado for so long that he just got sick of it. Come on, I gotta get rid of this, this zoner. This guy's being cheap. <clears throat> Take that, noob. Remaster is just basically built 60 FPS in and added some quality of life updates. Yeah, I heard it's like mainly the same game. Um, but I did hear when this game came out the remastered, I did hear that people were salty about it though. That they could have changed more. It was like a lazy remaster. But Dark Souls fans, I mean, if you're fans of these kind of games, you're probably weird to begin with, so. Wait, why is this guy not getting stunned? Uh-oh. Sunny D. Okay. I wanted to whiff punish him, but he kept on attacking. If I hit him enough times when he blocks, he eventually gets his guard broken, right? This game has, like, realistic combat stuff. Oh, he had a spear. I forgot, I forgot what the terms are called. Yeah, realistic combat, you know, like he, he, when he blocks with his shield mirror for too long, he gets tired and all of a sudden he goes, Oh, I don't feel so good. And then you can like execute him. It's really cool. It's like realistic. That's why people like, like these. Go, what the hell? I found a secret, guys. Guys, I found a secret. You guys know about this? What was that? What was that sound? What the hell? Who's this guy? Holy shit, he's got a huge axe! What's down here? Wow, there's so many guys down here. Ah, you piece of shit. You traded with me. Oh, I should have rolled. Nice. There's a ladder here. Hold on, hold on. Let me check back here real quick. Yeah, I, I, uh, I didn't want to go through, like, all the nonsense of customize my character mirror, so I just picked, like, the default default, because I know I was going to be a creepy skelly bro anyways. Oh, this is the merch. This is the guy you guys had me kill, right? To steal his his weeb steal, because we did the weeb run the first time. I think we killed this guy. I'm pretty sure. Well, now you seem to have your wits about you. Then you are a welcome customer. He's nice to us, and we killed him for his sword. For sale. <laughs> wow, he's so happy, because he knows I'm not gonna kill him this time. Things are getting treacherous in these parts. A horrible goat demon has moved in below. And up above, there's that humongous drake and a bull demon too. If you stick around this place, it might end up being your grave. 
<laughs> Wait, why is that so funny? That's not funny. What do we got here? Repair powder. Oh, one thing I remember they fixed in this game from Demon Souls is you don't have to worry about uh, how much equipment you carry. Remember in Demon Souls, guys, you had to constantly drop off your stuff. You had all those stupid stones and shit. And you had like a limit to the amount you can carry. They changed that in this, so that's good. Yeah, item burden. Yeah, that shit was annoying. Firebomb, talisman. Prevents Estus recovery within a limited area. Dried finger. Should only be used with the greatest of caution. Well, that's not helpful. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, the orange guidance. That's where you can uh, leave uh, bad tips for people and make them like die. Keys. Should I buy anything? I want to get my greatsword, guys. Where do I get it? It's a scimitar. I already have a spear. And he's got shields. You're supposed to write amazing chest ahead in front of all the women NPCs. Damn, that's like some high level EU jokes, Mir. You can't say that. We have some armor here, too. Okay. Okie dokie. Are these explosive barrels? Or are they just normal barrels? Looks like normal. You talk to him more? But I don't want- he just laughs at me. Oh, you again. I hope you brought plenty of souls. <laughs> here, I'm not here to chit chat. We talk business or we talk nothing at all. Damn, he's like a Rochi. Here, I'm not here to chit chat. That's all he says. We talk business or we talk nothing at all. I once put down a message in Dark Souls 2 that said rock in front of a big rock and it got 4,000 votes. Call me an influencer, if you will. <laughs> Mira, I bet you when you wrote down that message, you probably giggled to yourself. You're like, hey, 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 that's funny. By the way, you shouldn't be talking about Dark Souls 2. It gets people angry. Did you buy the key? What key? Buy the key. What? You guys didn't say anything about buying a key. He's going to laugh at me again now. That's how Mira laughed too. When he put down that message about the rock. I hope you brought plenty of souls. <laughs> that was Mir's laugh. The exact laugh he did when he wrote down that lame ass message. Um, which key am I buying? Resonance key? That one? Resonance key? Uh, opens residences in Undead Berg. What's a Berg? Do I have enough money? Oh yeah, we have like 3,000 souls. Thank you kindly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a town? Got it. Like Hamburg? Where's Hamburg? Like Hamburger? Man, Hamburger. I should order some food tonight, but it'd be super busy because it's New Year's. Everyone's going to be drunk. And the roads are icy right now. Super icy. Uh, but you know what? I, I'm actually eating tonight. I'm going to eat wings tonight. Some Nashville hot wings. And I don't even like spicy food. Nice throwing knife. I'm tossing it in the air fryer. We're going to town. Uh, oh, wait. I can't fall down here, right? Too much fall damage. Hey, there's some loot there. Wait, what did I pick up from that? Oh yeah, throwing knives. Um, hey, this is back here too at the beginning. There's like a shortcut. Uh, jump in the door? Which door? Can I get this? Should I get this? 
What the fuck? Where did this guy come from? Jesus Christ, man. These enemies just spawn out of nowhere. How's that funny, guys? The, the enemies spawn out of nowhere without warning. That's cheap. That's jank. Enemies do not spawn out of nowhere. Then explain that guy. Where was he, huh? I came from there. Can I open doors in this game? Wow, that's a Resident Evil homage. Hey, I found something. Wooden shield. Does that shield suck? You're playing deprived. That's what. That'll be your first shield. Well, actually, no. You get the heater shield. It was a skill issue. You did not notice you spooked him. So he spooked you. I don't know, man. Something tells me that guy came out of the floor. What's over here? Hey, you got a bonfire. What's up here? These stairs are broken and I see a ladder. Something tells me this ladder goes down. Okay, let's heal up. So why do I have uh, 10 SS flasks? Do you guys know why? That's kind of weird. Wait, aren't these guys supposed to respawn? Since I used the fire? Oh no, I gotta use it twice. When you light the fire, it just makes a checkpoint. And then I don't have to uh, uh, spawn them. Okay. Because the first... It's buffed? Oh, what's going on? What's happening? These guys are throwing bombs at me. How do I throw daggers at them? Uh, where's that throwing knife I had? Arrows? How do I use the throwing knife? Didn't I pick up throwing knives? I don't see it. Next to the Estus. Oh, it's a usable item. Throwing knife. Use as a projectile. Uh... How do I select it? Oh, there we go. Come on. How do I target this guy? It won't let me target him. Oh shit, dude! What the fuck? I I'm pressing R3, but it's not working. I it keeps centering the camera. Maybe I'm too far away. Okay. I'll take care of these assholes later then. It's gonna it's gonna make me run into this room. I'm gonna get ambushed by a bunch of guys. Oh, nice. Oh, dude, look at that cleave attack. That was sick. No! He's trying to stab me. Wow, this guy's too slow. He's like Zangief, and I'm Kimberly. What's this? Does not open from this side. Man, no doors open from this side. What's these? Where are those guys that throw shit? Oh, they're right above me. Holy shit, they can throw it downwards, too? Anything. Oh, there's a guy here! It's too claustrophobic in here. It's, there's no, no enough space to move. Oh my god, this guy's just standing here. This game is ambush the game. Uh, now what? What's over here? Oh, I found a chest. I found some loot. Fire bombs. Uh, okay. We gotta take care of these guys up here. Another ambush. Oh, this guy's got a fucking bomb, dude! Oh, you piece of shit! Let me grab that. He had fire bombs. Imagine my surprise. Okay, we gotta get these assholes now. Okay, hold on. I gotta snipe this guy. 
uh, down X. Take that. And that. Wow, what a new. Oh, drink some Sunny D. What the fuck? He has fire bombs too? I don't want to fall off. This game has realistic combat. You get you can actually fall off like rooftops and stuff. You got to be really careful when you overextend. You got to play very patient and realistic. What's in here? Hey, that's the key you guys got me to buy. It opened this door. Wow, it's for the chest. Wow, these guys don't know I'm here. Uh, gold pie. Pine. What's that? Is that rice? Immersion Vesper? I'm immersed. I'm immersed. Yeah. Kind of come start off the new year strong, but I am still very salty. Mir, you heard about the one, two, three thing, right? Like how the calendar could have been one, two, three. Or it not could have been, it is one, two, three. And Catcom fucked up big time. You see that? He got tired because I hit his shield too many times. Catcom dropped the ball hard, man. Real hard. I know. One, two, three. What the hell? There was an archer up here. In Japan, they write it different. Miri, that guy had a crossbow rather than a bow. Crossbows are better for assassinations, right? Because they're super fast. And you only have one shot. Because it takes too long to load. Yeah, it's super fast. Because there's no wind-up. You just point and shoot. It's like a gun. Like... You know? Man, that roll attack was way slower than I what I imagined. I am using two hand mode, right? Yeah, I am. Okay. Oh no! Guys, what do I do? I don't know how to beat this guy. This guy's scary. He's on the front cover of the game. He's like the Ryu of Dark Souls. I don't know what to do. Oh no, the chance getting their hand in their pants. Oh my god, I hate that shit. I hate it when you guys feel yourselves. Because you know I'm going to die. That tilts me. Smack them cheeks. Can I sneak up to him and stab him in the back? Well, I'm going to beat him my first try. Watch. Okay, I'm going to sneak up to him. Oh no! What do I do? Oh, I only did 21 damage. Oh, fuck. This happened to be last time, really? Wow, I'm unlucky. Come on, I need to know where to fight this guy. I need space. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Ah! Ah! Fuck, that did a lot. No! <laughs> the back attack didn't work. This game is jank. I don't want to play anymore. What? I thought I lit up the fire, guys, on that other place. Play a real game like Ninja Gaiden Sigma? I do want to play that, Qual. I do. Fudge! I died, guys. Now we gotta do the walk of shame. You never sat down? Then what's the point of lighting it up then? What is the point of lighting it up? You're telling me I have to sit down and respawn everything to get a fucking checkpoint in this game? How is that realistic? Yes? Fuck. You guys are supposed to backseat me. I blame it on you guys. I blame the coach. It's not the student's fault. Wow, this guy's going crazy. 
He's mashing. Like a Marisa player. I blame Jojo where wherever he is. Jojo's around here somewhere. Oh shit, this asshole's here now. Hold on, do I still have my daggers? What? It didn't respawn my daggers? That's cheap. So one thing I learned really early when I played Demon Souls is uh you have to like let go of your OCD and sometimes you need to run by enemies. You can't just like kill everything all the time. And if you die again, all of the souls I collected, all the the it's like currency and XP. Uh you lose everything. Which is not really a big deal. As much as you'd think it would be. But it's still bad. The guy's a shitty shield. So, I don't even care if he blocks. Damn, man! That, that's so much further than you think it is. You piece of shit. What the fuck? Yeah, Demon Souls was really funny because of the world tendency. You had to like purposely uh, off yourself in the main hub and drop down so you wouldn't mess up your file. It was so stupid. Oh, oh shit! Oh, you see that insane R2? Triple kill. I got a triple whammy. See that guy? He's got a crossbow. He's an assassin. <clears throat> Alright, here's that stupid fire. I'm gonna respawn these idiots. Now I got the checkpoint? Yes? Okay. You guys should have been more clear. Actually, no. That was my fault. <laughs> you guys told me. I saw it. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Holy shit! Where did this asshole come from? What the fuck? He wasn't there last- Where is this asshole come from? Where the fuck is that asshole come from? Oh, I lost all my souls. Good thing I bought that key. Well, fuck. At least I got my checkpoint. Drink? What, what am I supposed to do? Drink while I'm standing in fire getting stabbed from eight different fucking angles? Like I'm stuck in the corner against fucking... I don't know. Against Ken? OH SHIT! <sighs> Fuck this game, dude. This game has realistic combat. You gotta be really careful. You can actually fall off cliffs and stuff in this game. Add death counter? I don't know how to do that stuff. The chat- the chat makes the death counter. Nice! You get iframes when you execute an enemy. You kind of always want to circle behind their backs when you attack them. It's kind of jank. But it's effective. Uh, you're already taking off, Mir? Damn, man. Well, Happy New Year's again. And then, uh, tomorrow, Mir, uh, I'll message you and we can s figure out what's going on. Like, when we start hammering out those wishlist videos. <clears throat> yeah. Happy 
New Year's. <coughs> Excuse me. Circling your enemy to backstab them is Souls Game 101. Yeah, I have to master that. And when you two hand, you do a little bit more damage than one hand, which is cool. There's a lot of variety of like fighting styles and stuff in this game. Actually, I don't even need to fight these guys. How did I die again the first time? Oh wait, there's that knight dude. That's how I wait. Who did that? Oh, the guy's a guy up on the tower. Yeah, the guy on the cover of the box. Also, when you two-hand, you can use weapons that you might not have enough stats for. Alright, yes. That's cool, too. See, I told you guys, the combat's realistic. Because it's you're stronger when you use two hands instead of one. Yeah. So, where do I get my first sword? Nightmare. I want to get my I want to get my build going here. Oh, cool! I got their shield. Another cool thing about these Souls games is that all the armor you see and all the weapons you see enemies use, you pretty much can get anything. You can like get their shield and their weapons. You can dress like them and look like them if you want to. Where's the knight? Is he down here again? Okay, I'm gonna try to get the backstab again. You gotta do it fast. If you stand by him too long. Oh shit! <clears throat> oh my god, he runs! I gotta lure him over here in the open area. So it's fair. One. You gotta see his different attacks he has. All right, this is a good area to fight him. Oh, he repositioned. Stabby. Nice. <clears throat> good deeps. What a noob. Okay, I can't attack him. He's got eye frames. One slice, two slice, three slice, four slices. Oh, oh, he comboed me, man. I couldn't roll. Sometimes it looks like I can wrap behind him, and sometimes it, does, it looks like I can't. I gotta get used to the stabby one for sure. I can wrap around his ass. Right now, I'm getting hit a lot because I think uh, I'm, I'm able to dodge his attack by running around him. Oh, no, don't fall off the cliff. Oh, you piece of shit. Oh my god, I almost fell off the cliff. This first asshole is harder than the fucking knight. Right. Wait, where'd you come from? Oh, I rolled too soon. Holding forward and tapping R1 should allow you to kick, breaking your enemy's guard. Yeah, do I do I have enough time to like kick him and then and then do a quick attack and attack him? Does that does that like work? What the fuck? Oh no. Oh no, I got comboed. Drinky time. Yeah, I, I take it the, the Black Knight's kind of kind of cracked though, right? That's gonna be a little tough. Damn. Holy shit, it's like Yeah, he was here the other day, Qua. He was complaining there was no Elena in Street Fighter. And then he says Street Fighter 3 sucks. But nobody took the bait. Because they're used to me saying that. 
Yo, Slack, what did you think of, uh... What? These guys heal like a bunch of noobs! Um... Slack, what do you think of that, that Sega announcement of all those old school games coming back? Golden Axe, Crazy Taxi, Jet Set, which I've never played before. Uh, Streets of Rage, and Shinobi. Did it say Kid Chameleon? You're so happy? That's a really cool news. I did not expect that. Kid Chameleon, hey? Oh god. I really don't want to play that game again. But I was thinking of doing like a marathon when we play all those old games again. 3D Streets of Rage? I know that Streets of Rage 4 is bumping, like, everyone loves it. Yes, finally! Now run away! Choo. Come at me, bro. Yeah, so I'm thinking of rolling around this guy until I see the, the big, strong, stabby stab. That one, the thrust. That looks like he's the most open for me to do the backstab on him. Because I don't do too much damage on this guy, even with two-hander. Does the two-hander affect the damage I do when I, when I backstab guys, or no? Sometimes he does two, sometimes he does three. He, he like, keeps you on your toes. You have to be very, like, observant. Okay, I'll try kicking him, too. Bam. The kick didn't do anything. You sure I can kick him, guys? Or maybe I whiffed it? I didn't see. Yeah, the kick's not doing anything. Black Knight's too strong. Wham. <clears throat> oh, there's the stab. One, two, three, that's the stab. Four. Oh, that did a lot of damage to me. Uh-oh. Can I heal before he attacks me? Oh! Heal, 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 heal! Nice, you got st I got we're getting lucky stabs. Nice. We're getting close, guys. We almost got him. One. Hmm. Bam. One. Two. Ah! Heal, heal! Oh! Oh! Oh no! I got him in a weird spot now. He's angry! He's pissed! He's going crazy! Oh! He knocked me down! What's happening?! I couldn't move! He stepped on my head, this jank-ass fucking game, dude! I couldn't even move! I was mashing on roll like crazy, my character was permanently stunned. Fucking jank-ass game. <clears throat> that was fun, though. Let's try again. Oh, I was doing so well, but as soon as I lost my footing, the jank started happening. If you like jank, wait till Ninja Gun. What? Ninja Gun is not jank, is it? Oh, I hit that guy, but I hit him. I hit the, the hell. I actually hit that guy behind me. What? I thought I killed him! Oh, you piece of shit! Ninja got in two and three. Yeah, I want to... Like I said, we're going to... Do the run back on Devil May Cry. I want to start playing more action games, you know? I want to start getting good at these games, so... 
Devil May Cry 1. Ninja Gaiden series. What about the Bayonetta series? Is, is that series good or does it suck? <coughs> it's hit or miss. Hmm. It's okay. It's a miss for you? Yeah, Qua's very particular about his action games. Did you play all the Ninja Guidance, Qua? Because they're fucking hard. Ninja Guiding games are not even about being stylish, they're just about surviving. But we played the OG Ninja Guidance, so... I feel like it's... It's important... That we continue the, the saga. Wow, look at this guy heal like a noob, man. Come on. Oh, cool. We got his helmet. Dude. The more we die, the more equipment we're collecting from them. Okay, sneak up to this guy. Yeah, I'm still I'm still listening to the, the Final Fantasy X be said beach music. It's like engraved in my brain. One of the worst bosses in any video game I've ever fought. Why was it really broken, B? <clears throat> I know that game, those games are like really frustrating. Because they want it to be like a modern, hard ass game, like the OG, you know, Ninja Gaiden games were, you know? Oh, you piece of shit. What? I rolled too, too early. Oh! So hard to get a heal off against this guy. Oh my god, I thought I was out of range. Mm. 20 damage, I'm on my way. Mm. What? Look at that recovery! He recovered instantly. That's horse shit. Drink in front of your face. What do you think about that? Oh shit! You don't think much about it. I got one heal left. Dude, what are those active frames? What the fuck is that? It's like Luke's crouching heavy punch. Did you just see that shit? It was active for so long. This guy, this game has realistic combat, so that when he sticks out his sword, just like in real life, if you stood in front of it, it would stab you. Use that gold risen for extra damage next time you fight this guy. Is it like that uh, fire thingy in <coughs> in Demon Souls, where you can light your weapon on fire? I kind of don't want to use those kind of items until I'm like comfortable with the fight in the first place, because I don't want to die after I use the item. The problem isn't that I'm not doing enough damage. The problem is is that I'm not dodging. Him. But we got pretty close the, the the last time. I just lost my footing. Mm. This Vesper One Pro tips? Yep, yep, you can backseat away. We're in full Nintendo fan mode. I encourage backseating. I encourage it. We're just chilling, man. It's Happy New Year's. Um, What were we talking about before? We're talking about Ninja Gaiden. That Shinobi game more looks more kind of like an indie kind of style game though. <clears throat> Not the old school Shinobi, you know? Old school Shinobi was all about like jumping in the background and stuff, you know? <clears throat> Yo, what's up Gambit? Happy New Year's, man. Yeah, Gambit saw New Year's 
He's from the future, way before us. Did they announce Ed in 2024, Gambit? Let us know. <clears throat> Willie was, uh, Willie was playing Fortnite uh, this morning. And in Fortnite, they have a thing where every hour, every time there's like New Year's somewhere in the world, a disco ball comes down and everyone has to dance regardless. And they have this even in ranked. Every every character has to dance. And it started playing since this morning because, you know, like in Australia, it's 2024 in the future. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I don't want to use the shield against him. The shield would make it too easy. I kind of want to play this like two-handed mode. I think that would make it more fun. I don't want to like hold the shield and then hold the block and then just circle around him. I don't want to do that. Oh yeah, it did happen to us Hennessy a long time ago when we played Fortnite a couple years ago. Parrying is kind of fun. Yeah, but I, I kind of want to like... When I play these kind of games, I find it really fun to like kind of pick a build and kind of stick to a build and play it a certain way, you know? It's like my jam. Best run from the future, they actually scrapped Ed because people stopped caring about him. It seemed like- it seemed like Capcom scrapped Ed, dude. I don't know what's going on with Capcom. Like, Capcom's marketing team, the way they announce shit and the order they announce shit is so- is so all over the place and ass backwards, it's really puzzling. You just don't know what the fuck is going on with Capcom, dude. Like, okay, they're teasing Akuma, Ed's supposed to be next, but watch, next week they're gonna announce Balrog. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just such a Capcom thing to do. Ed Rock? I mean, I hope Ed plays like Balrog. You know? Okay. Here we go again. There's the thrust. I got a backstab. I remember when I played Demon Souls, guys, I had a hard time... Targeting the back like you have to like look at their I don't know their feet or something to really tell When something is like a back hit what the fuck he's got four swings He gets super angry when you heal oh no don't go in the fucking tower ah Oh he missed what a noob oh no I oh They're gonna announce Blade. Oh, Capcom? Oh, dude, that'd be sick. I watched that Blade teaser again from the Game Awards. That shit got me so hype. I don't know why. Blade is just so cool. The game's probably gonna be shit. But when it comes to cape shit or Marvel, Blade is the only thing that gets me hype. If it was Wesley Snipes, it would be like a whole other level of hype too. But I just imagine it's Wesley Snipes. Damn, look at that cleave. If you take off your armor, you move faster. Yeah, we made it. So that I have the fastest roll already, Mockery. Okay, what did you say before, Mockery? Something about not using the camera or targeting or something? Just copy-paste your post. <laughs> Dude, Snipes is so sick. I'm sure he still looks good, though, Qua. Even at 50. Plus, he had all that time in prison, so he's been working out and shit. So he's been staying in shape. gotta drop something more spears dude i i am i'm actually getting the full set like this is crazy i'm getting every piece of this guy's equipment i wonder if i can get away with equipping one of the things if i still have if i get the fat roll Let's see uh hollow helmet where does it say the weight is that the 3.5 thing oh no it slows me down 
Just a helmet. What about the shoulder? Or was it a shoulder piece? Or is it a chest piece? No, it's the pants. Waist cloth. Wow. You can see my legs. <clears throat> Yo, what's up, Stone? Yep. We're playing some Dark Souls. We're just chilling on New Year's. Yeah, this is the Dark Souls run back. <coughs> Chilled stream. And we're in full backseat mode. Full Nintendo fan. So the chat can speak freely. We're doing a, a great sword build. I want to get a Claymore or a Bastard Sword. And we're going to two hand it up. But I'm kind of at a. I'm kind of stuck right now because I can't beat this uh, uh, Black Knight dude uh, without a shield. It's tough. Bonk. I have a hard time getting my heals off on this guy. He always stabs me whenever I go for a heal. <clears throat> you can chain heal? I can't even get one heal off on this guy. Oh no! I didn't get the stab. I hit it too early. <clears throat> There's a big sword in the cemetery. Oh yeah? I'm looking for a specific type of sword though. It's it's the sword type that's one one step heavier than the one I'm using. It's like the Claymore Bastard Sword moveset. I really like it. So if it's that type of sword, that's cool. But Bunky and Nightmare told me I get my first sword after the the first boss. It did two damage. He looks like he's putting away his sword, but... <coughs> I'm trying to get a backstab on him. And I can't kick him. I tried kicking him and it doesn't do anything. See, he kind of looks like he puts his sword away after that stab, but sometimes he does a follow-up swing. It's kind of hard to distinguish the two. At least I did 20 damage. Yeah, see that? It was really hard for me to tell if he was going to swing or not. Once I get that figured out, I think I'm home free on beating this guy. Oh. I hear the whoosh sound. Maybe the whoosh sound is the tell that he's... Yeah, maybe the whoosh sound. Did they have that in the original game? That that whoosh sound with the sword? Oh! Oh no! Uh oh, how do I heal? Okay, gotta be careful. Oh, you one shot me! No! That was pretty good though, we're getting better at it. Damn. 
When you pick up your souls, you can go back uh, to the bonfire, go human, and, and kindle to increase your flask to 10 drinks every time you rest out of the bonfire. Yeah, so why why do my um why do my drink why are my drinks max five now instead of ten? You can upgrade the bonfires of humanity. I know you like turn yourself back into human form. So you guys said human form allows you to PvP. And it also increases your, your luck drop rate or something when you're in human form. So explain to me the whole thing about the, the 10 SS class. Like how does that work? What's Firelink? <clears throat> oh, it's the starting town. Okay. Bonfire started five drinks. Every Kindle gives plus five more. You can eventually Kindle up to 20 drinks. But if I die, it goes back to five. The problem is like against this black knight, it's not that I'm running out of heals. It's just that I can't heal. Like he kills me when I'm trying to heal. <clears throat> it's upgraded forever. Then how come my drinks are five again? When you die, you, so when I, when I die, I have to use the bonfire again. I'm kind of confused. I don't, I don't, I don't really understand still. All right, let's try this again. Oh, so when I, once again, if I'm two-handed and I do that backstab attack, do I do more damage because I'm two-hand? It is the whoosh. Okay, we learned something. 100% it's the whoosh. The whoosh tells me that he's not going to attack me. Oh. Uh-oh. I'm in that situation again. Where I need to heal. Fall down the stairs. Hmm. 
Oh, he spun around. You see that? <laughs> that was cheap. 21 damage at a time, man. We're wearing him down. Two damage. Nice. <clears throat> it's looking good, but it always looks good. And then things get hairy real fast. <laughs> oh no. Oh, he backed up. Does he heal? He's backing up for me. Why is he backing up, guys? Why is he leaving? What's going on with this jank-ass game? Oh, he's so low, guys. Should I get greedy and try to swing at him? Or should I stick to the plan? We did it, guys! Yeah! Oh, we got that whack-ass chunk. I'm still gonna pop off, though. Uh... Uh... We do... Uh... Yeah! Misa going home! Okay, so if I go back to the bonfire, it won't respawn him, right? <clears throat> yeah, everyone says to point down. That's weird. I'll do it again. Cool. We did it without a shield. What the hell? Is this guy dead? This game is so jank. But that's part of the fun. <clears throat> See, my SS flask is still five. <clears throat> Each bonfire is separate from uh, another. This bonfire is not kindled. If you kindle, it will give you plus ten drinks when you rest at it. Oh, so you kind of get to choose your favorite bonfire locations? You're like, oh, I like this bonfire, so I'm going to kindle it. If you're going to be in a certain spot for too long. Okay. So how do I kindle a bonfire? I'm with you guys so far now. How do I kindle it? <clears throat> Kindling is journalist mode. Yeah, Dark Souls players are really weird, man. They like try to make up these strange rules because they want the game to like be hard. But those kind of guys, they don't play retro games, so they don't know what hard games are. You want to play hard, play some Battletoads. Or Castlevania. Some real games. Uh. Okay, hold on. Joe's following up with something. Only the first bonfire is already upgraded, but not the others. Okay, so that explains why I started off with 10. So you only get the 10 flasks if you rest, respawn at that specific bonfire. You have to upgrade the other bonfires with humanity. Okay, I'm with you guys so far again. Well, I was going to say, um... Uh, what was I going to say? Uh-oh. Oh, how do I lose this 10 stack? From dying, that's how I lose the 10. And I have a follow-up question. I think I have the full set piece of these guys. You do notice the irony of saying Dark Souls players don't play retro games while you're streaming Dark Souls on retro category, right? As ready, I am playing the remastered version of Dark Souls. Not the retro version. You died and respawned at a non-upgraded bonfire. Okay. 
So if that bonfire was kindled and I died nightmare and that was the last bonfire I used, then I would start with 10 flasks. Is that correct? Am I understanding this? Okay, I got one more follow-up question. If I go back to the what's the what's the home base called again? Fire Spark or something? Fire Link. If I go back to Fire Link and I use that bonfire and I get the plus 10 and then I come back and then I use this bonfire when I'm still alive, will it go back down to 5? No. It's only when I die. Okay. Got it. Okay, I'm with you guys so far. Okay, now now that I understand the rules of this bonus S, why do they have this mechanic in the first place? Like, what's the point of it? Just to make the game easier, or like, why do they even have this mechanic? <laughs> Journalist mode. Here we go again. Can you guys explain to me why Dark Souls players get so sensitive about things that make the game easier? Like, for example. When people like say, hey, I beat Dark Souls and you're like, oh, what kind of build you use? And you're like, oh, I use magic. And then they go, oh, you didn't really beat the game. What does that mean? Can you guys explain that to me. Try hards. Elitism. I just find it strange because the whole stick about this game is like supposed to be it's like difficulty, right? But there are like so many hard games that came out before this. I don't know why this is like. The game that's supposed to be, you know. Magic is baby mode. It's like playing Ken in Street Fighter or something. Like, oh, you got mass rank? Who'd you use? Like, oh, I used Ken. Oh, you didn't really get master rank. That kind of shit. Pretty much. It's like playing on modern. Jeez. Oh, well, you guys can keep me posted on the lore. Oh, we can explore this area now because we killed that knight. You use JP, huh? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like to me, like when I when I play these kind of games, I mean, to me, like the hardcore would be PvP because you're playing against a human, not like an AI, right? To me, anything that's hardcore to me is is playing against another human opponent. Always. Always. To me, PvE is always casual, no matter what, to me. And don't get me wrong, I know there's like, hard coordinated things, like playing like World of Warcraft, and like, having like a big raid of people coordinating to beat a boss and stuff is very challenging. Especially if you're gonna wanna be like, world first and stuff. I get that, I totally do. But to me, there's nothing more exhilarating than outplaying another human. You know, that's one thing I really like about fighting games. You're playing against somebody else. It's not like, it's not like a, a, an AI that you can exploit, learn their pattern, and maul them, you know? You're playing against somebody who can adapt on the fly. But I also heard the PvP in these kind of games can be kind of scrubby too. <clears throat> but it's cool that there is PvP. Blue tear stone ring. We got two ring slots, right? But we have ten fingers. Boost defense while health is low. Oh, you guys remember in Demon Souls, you don't the way it works is you don't get your full health. Remember? When you die, your health bar is lower. And you need to get that stupid ring that increases it. And you basically you get that ring at the very start of the game, you basically use that ring the entire game. It's ridiculous. Because it was so powerful. Won a hard game, Volgar the Viking. I play Dark Souls to relax after playing that game. <laughs> you know, like I said, it's funny. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm, I get my ass kicked in this game too, even though I'm talking shit about it all the time. I just feel like it's just strange how people feel themselves over this game. You know what I'm saying? When they're bronze players in Street Fighter. It's to me, I feel, always find it strange feeling yourselves over PvE rather than PvP. But, uh, like I said, I, this is the kind of game I would never ever play. Like, I, I'm only playing these kind of games because of you guys. You guys, like, watch me play this stuff, so it's cool learning how to play, like, these kind of action games. 
single player elitism is the most toxic. <laughs> But anyways, back to what I was saying, I, I feel like these, this kind of game is the kind of game where you kind of express yourself, you know, with its realistic combat. Like, you can play... I Oh my god, what's happening? No! Why didn't you guys tell me about that? Oh fuck! Ah! I remembered the boulder, but I forgot about the barrel. Anyways, this game's got really realistic combat. If a barrel fell on you in real life, you would get stabbed too. Fucking chat. You guys didn't warn me about that. I was talking. Anyways, what I was trying to say for the millionth time is that these kind of games are about expressing yourself, you know? Like, if this is not a kind of game, like, there's some power creep. I don't know about Dark Souls 1, but in Demon Souls, there was some slight power creep. But it's like, if you want to use this sword, you're using it because of its moveset, because of its speed, and, you know? You're not really be like, oh, this is more powerful sword. You don't go, like, bronze sword, silver sword, mithril sword, like Final Fantasy, you know what I'm saying? Gem sword, and then blood sword. It's not like a power creep. Like, you just, you pick the kind of style of fighting you want, and you kind of go from there. Like, that's what these kind of games are all about. And when you want to, and it adds a ton of replayability. Because after you're done playing it, if you use a different weapon, it could totally change the way you play the game. And it's not because the weapon's weaker, it's just because it's a different style. You know what I'm saying? But instead, whenever I hear someone talk about Dark Souls, it's always about the difficulty. They're like, oh man, that game is so hard. You know, and when I hear stuff like that, it makes me roll my eyes. And I think to myself, this guy doesn't play video games. That's why he thinks it's so hard. He's never played retro. It's just that he's been playing Resident Evil games with yellow paint for so long, he thinks it's hard. Elite arcade. I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm some elite. I'm just saying that like I don't know where this shit started. You're playing Neo 2 right now, Ford? Can you buy DLC costumes in that game? <laughs> Every time you talk, Ford, I always bring up the costumes to you. That's like your stick now. Because you're so stubborn on buying those costume 3s. It's funny. Man's gotta have a code. What's the dream, guys? Okay, how about this? Capcom still doesn't give us any updates for January. Capcom Cup happens. Then at Capcom Cup, the grand finals happen. We get a Luke Mirror match. Chris Wong wins. He beats NL. And then Nakayama comes up on stage because not Ono. But Ono's in the crowd watching. And Nakayama's like, we have a giant update coming. Balance patch. Two characters, Ed and Akuma. Two stages, both their stages. All coming out the day after the finals. All at once. What say you, chat? Explosion hype. A content creator's worst nightmare. What are the chances? Willie says the bare minimum. What's the bare minimum? Willie, tell the chat what you think realistically is going to happen based on the history of Capcom's announcements. What's really going to happen? Content overload, need a roadmap? Willie says nothing's going to happen. <laughs> so Willie thinks that Capcom Cop's going to finish and then they're like, thanks so much, guys. And then there's, no there's going to be nothing. As funny as that is, that's actually a possibility. I think at the very least, Capcom will announce a trailer for the next Capcom Cup, right? Like, it'll show Men RD uh, popping off on the stage, right? It'll show all the pro players on Evil stage. And then it says Capcom Cup 2024. 
for I'd say half a million, five hundred thousand will be the next increment. I died here, and this guy killed me. You're heading out, Mockery? All right, thanks for the tips, man, and happy New Year's. Yeah, happy New Year's, bro. Make sure you drink responsibly. I'll see you in 2024. Or what's the stupid joke people say? I'll see you next year or something. Something dumb. It's already 2024 for you. What time is it right now, guys? It's 10 o'clock, so it's two, ho two hours for me. We're supposed to say Happy New Year's, guys, to everyone. Uh, oh, damn, we missed the East Coast Happy New Year. Shit. I'm sorry, guys. We're supposed to celebrate every hour. But Happy New Year's East Coast. I already said it. I was fighting that Black Knight, and I got hit by the stupid barrel, and I died. Yeah. Happy New Year's East Coast. I hope you guys are having a good one. East Coast and beyond. Now next is Central. That's in an hour. We celebrate with a barrel explosion death? That's true. We kind of did. Mm. Oh, we got a boss fight coming up, don't we? <clears throat> Should probably heal. This is a pretty cool fighting area. There's a ladder here. Mm -mm. Vesper, are you going to a nightclub after playing on the stream? Vesper after hours? That's what you guys think I do after the stream? As I go down to the bar? No, man. I, 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 I go make food and then I eat food and then... I try to catch up with the news, and I try to edit some videos, and then I go to sleep. That's my life. I don't have any time anymore, because I just play games all day. Streaming. No time. Just editing. And then it starts all over again the next day. Holy shit, this guy is huge! Oh my god, Taurus Demon. Taurus means ox. Got your toes. Oh no. Oh god. Ah! Fuck, man. I got hammered mountain. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, I was gonna say, why can't I kick the shield, guys, on the Black Knight? What's the reason for that? You guys know? Watch your head. There wasn't very much room to move there. You can, but it takes long. What do you mean it takes long? Explain to me the, the mechanical reasons. He's using a great shield. Is it because of like the weapon I'm using? Like the weapon I'm using is not strong enough? Like what if I was using like a, a hammer? He has too much poise. What's poise again? Poise is your stun, your, your like stun bar, right? Harder to break defense. But like, what I don't understand, okay, let's say that like there's a hidden poise meter, right? But when I kick him, it does high poise damage. Is that how it works? It's not hidden, it's a stat. But I mean, it's hidden in the sense that, the like, for example, if someone blocks with a shield and I keep attacking him, all of a sudden he'll get staggered. Or am I getting mixed up with stamina? <clears throat> Got another shard. Really? 
Refer to my above post. When you kick someone's shield, it reduces their stamina. When it hits zero, they get a guard broken. Right, so the stamina is invisible. But doesn't doesn't his stamina recover? So kicking is kind of too slow, isn't it? This door is locked, right? You can fight another knight if you go down. His ring is really useful. How do I go down? There's no down. No, I didn't get the master key. I didn't want a sequence break. By the way, guys, playing playing this game, like... When I first played this game... Uh, the first time... Um... I wasn't in a super good mood playing it, but playing it now with you guys like on full backseat mode is really enjoyable. We should do it more often. Like I, f I feel like these kind of games are really fun uh, when you guys can kind of speak freely because you guys know so much about these kind of games. It's kind of like when I watch a friend play Resident Evil, I get so excited because I'm like, wow, I love Resident Evil. And then I backseat like crazy. What the hell? Oh no, I didn't kill the fucking archers. Oh shit. Oh, he's a piece of, he shot me in the ass. I can't see. All I see is hairy cheeks. Oh, I think he got stunned. Oh, you fucking... Oh no, he's coming right for me. Ew! I'm down to one flask, I need grass. Ooh, I like the music on this boss. He's low. Oh, the fucking dagger comboed me! You piece of shit! I'm gonna fucking go up that tower and I'm gonna fucking skin those guys alive. That's bullshit. That was 3v1. And I had that boss. That was shit was free. Okay, so back back to the the whole uh, Black Knight thing and the poise thing. So when I when I'm hitting the Black Knight and he blocks with his shield or I kick him, I'm 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 ra I'm draining his stamina. But does it slowly start to refill? Is there like a mod that shows that hidden bar what it looks like? So you can like min max the game and shit. Hey, where this asshole come from? A big thing too is like when you're using two hand, it's like really important to like hit with the edge of your blade. Like you want to, uh, you want to really know your ranges, just like in a fighting game. Ah oh, shit. Oh, where did this guy come from? like a stagger stat. So if I kept kicking that black knight, I just like, let's say I, I kicked him, dodged for a bit, kicked him, dodged for a bit, kicked him. Eventually I would stagger him and then I can execute him.
Yeah? Okay. I'm starting to get it a bit. I've never tried that to know. If you do it fast enough, okay. Okay, I gotta kill these guys up here. These guys are cheap. <coughs> they kind of trick you. In Demon Souls, every boss kind of had their own little, like, stick, like, little thingy, little puzzle to solve. And once you solved it, the bosses were not too bad. But I think they changed it once the Dark the Dark Souls series started. But this is just kind of like a slight preparation where like if you go too fast without exploring, those guys will give you a problem. Alright, no distractions now. It's mono y mono. Should I just R2 him? Like, I'm just doing one roll R2. Or should I do a combo? Like, I don't know if I'm, like, doing enough deeps efficiently. Dude, that attack is so slow. Experiment. Oh, I wasn't fast enough. I like how the game mixes between like rolling fast and rolling uh, slow. How much damage did I do there? One sixty-eight. 73. Yeah, the two slow attacks are way better. I lose too much stamina if I do too Well, I don't have enough stamina, right? Oh shit, I need to heal. I need to heal again. Shit. Oh, that attack, that attack always tricks me. I think I got him. Yeah, we did it, guys. We killed our first boss. That guy was way easier than the Black Knight. And we got Homeward Bone. I think that sends us, uh, that's like our feather. It brings us back home. I gotta do the taunt, the pink down. Get bodied. Alright, cool. Yeah, it seems like doing two R1s did more damage than just one R2. For me, if you've climbed up that ladder and drop attacked him... Oh, right! The, the drop attack does so much damage. If I go up here, can he jump up? Can he attack me when I'm up in this tower? Does he have an attack that can hurt me? No, really? That's so cheap! That's so cheap. It does like 50% on him, just like the, the first guy. It's a literal cheese strat. I guess it just rewards you for being smart. Remember guys, this game has realistic combat, so. Okay, we're out of Sunny D. Not cheap, realistic. <laughs> In like World of Warcraft, if you do something like that, where you stand somewhere where the enemy doesn't have access to you, like the AI will go crazy. They go invincible. So you can't cheese strat. And they'll like teleport to you. Short shortcut back to the last bonfire near here. Okay. And then uh, we're gonna go back to town, right? So didn't you guys say my my first sword that I want to use is close to me now? Alright, this is where the dragon is, right? It's locked. This game still looks pretty good. I know it's the remastered version, but it runs well and it looks good. Who's this guy? 
Ah, hello. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Soler of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> I don't understand anything anyone says in this game at all. And by the way, his voice is muffled because he's in a giant helmet. Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition if you have a moment. Um, uh, should I say yes? He's got a proposition for me. Like prop drill from the wire. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? Help him? <clears throat> yeah? This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. Oh, he gives me an item. Uh, white sign soapstone. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The Very strange. The itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits. Cross the gap. This is for PvP, right? And engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this. But I am a warrior of the sun. Oh, you can summon your buddy, right? Your friend to play with you. That's really cool. I never got to experience that, but I'm sure you guys must have had a lot of fun with it. So this guy, he's uh, he's dead. He said he was undead, and he said we're in two different worlds. Not that I'm trying to understand the story in this game, but this guy's dead. Dead. I'm undead too. You're both undead. Oh, hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. This guy really likes the sun. Be so grossly incandescent. Mm-mm. If I had a shirt like this, it wouldn't be the sun. It would be the moon. This guy was partially designed by the director. Well, wouldn't the director be designing a lot of things? Edgy arcade? It's not edgy, I'm just saying that, like, I don't... Okay, never mind, guys. Why are you guys calling me edgy? Wait, where do I go? Am I going this way? I thought we were gonna get a shortcut or something. Am I going this way? I have no more flask. I'm pretty sure there's a dragon here, though, isn't there? Oh. Ah! Ah! Oh, it didn't kill me! Oh, shit! I heard the dragon, but I didn't know where he was. Why is my character, uh, glowing? Oh, right, because I got that ring. Uh-oh. I hear bows and stuff. Go down the stairs. I'm going down. All oh, right, right, right. This is the shortcut. Perfect. Kick that shit down. This is this is like one of the coolest things about the Souls games that I really like is the level design is really really good. Can I slide down the ladder? Don't look like it. See, now we're back here, and this is the first bonfire. Definitely need to refill my flask. Cool, cool. Okay. Yeah, I missed my break. I had to take a quick break. Uh, best for reverse hall to go human. Kindle to boost your drinks to plus 10 if you want. Do I want to use it on this bonfire, though? Shouldn't we save it? 
Like when we really need it. Oh yeah, I didn't get to ask you guys about that. So how do, how do I kindle a bonfire? Like how does it work? Like what does it cost? I might wait, I wanna go back up the ladder. Why am I going this way? Oh man, I got this huge entourage here. These guys have no shields, so you can just rush them down. If you die and don't get back the souls, they're gone forever. You use one humanity point. Okay, use one humanity point to kindle the fire. It uses soft humanity in your top left corner. See the four by your life? You can kindle it to plus 10. Oh. Do <clears throat> but do you guys really want me to do this? Like, is it a big deal? Because we're not really like, shouldn't I save it to when I'm like stuck and I need more heals? Best for Warcraft 2 when? We still got to play Warcraft 1. No, go for it. <coughs> okay, so what do I do? Well, the chat really wants me to use it on this bonfire. Do I use this bonfire a lot or something? You guys really want me to use this? You can farm humanity if you really want more. Okay, hold on. You get... <coughs> One sec. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, so... <coughs> Excuse me. Do I use? Okay, the number on my the number on the top left is my humanity. <coughs> okay, I see. Rest that bone. Okay, one second. Here. Yeah, I'm rest at the bonfire. Reverse, reverse hollowing. Offer humanity in reverse hollowing. Now it goes the three. So what does that mean? And now my guy's a human dude. He's not an undead guy. Now Kindle Bonfire. Okay. Now it's ten. Okay. Now it says two. It costs one t for to reverse the hollowing <coughs> and one to kindle the fire. Okay. I'm like really confused now. <laughs> okay. So I can't kindle a bonfire unless I'm in human form. Is that how it works? Okay. Now, now explain to me the number four. Like, why did it say four now? And why is it two? <clears throat> I guess I'm going back up here, right? The two is just a resource counter. You spent two. Oh, okay. So it's not like a meter or something. It's just, the yeah, it just tell me how many I have. Uh, what about my items? What about this thing? This is like a separate item? <coughs> okay. So, the, the higher this number, the better my, my loot drops are? <coughs> so it, it, it uh... It rewards you for making the game harder by by raising your loot drops. Is that is that why it's like that? It doesn't change much. Okay. 
Don't forget to level up. You're sitting on 14k souls. Oh shit, right. We have to level up. Okay. I completely forgot about that. <clears throat> so remember, we're doing a build where I'm going to use that uh, those great swords. And I want to use spells that enhance my weapon. So what kind of stats should I get? To do that kind of build. <clears throat> Is it like Demon Souls where every time I doesn't matter what stat I level up, my defense goes up? <coughs> Basically. <clears throat> you need at least 16 strength and 10 dex. Okay. So we have 13 dex. So we should raise our strength to 16. How many souls is required? So we still got a lot more. Definitely level up endurance. It gives you more stamina. Oh yeah, then we can we can uh, combo more. Um, endurance. <clears throat> Does it say? Oh, explanation. Oh shit. Uh, select. Wait, what? Oh. <clears throat> Wheel of powerful weapons also boost weapon attack. Stamina, equipment load, and resistance to bleeding. What's the stat that makes it so that I can, uh, I don't get the fat roll. So I can, like, roll faster with heavier equipment. <clears throat> That's also endurance? Okay. <clears throat> this, uh... This boosts the weapon's attack. This only matters if the weapon is like a, a dex type weapon, right? There's two types of magic in this game because I see there's miracles and sorceries. I forgot what it was in Demon Souls. There was also miracles, I think, and something else. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going strength 16, like Nightmare said. And then, Ford says to boost up endurance a little bit. To 15, maybe? Now what? I still got a lot of souls left. Vitality? Is vitality important? <clears throat> That's my health, right? Extra health. So we got 15, 15, 16. <clears throat> Only if you don't want to die. I mean, that sounds important. Rest in life? Really? <clears throat> Why do I have so many souls? Like this? Are you guys happy with this? Just go crazy on, on Vit? 18, 15, 16? I would do more endurance. I'll go 2. It's like this. 16, 17, 16? Is this good to you guys? You guys are like custom making my character. Good? Everyone's happy with this? I'm, I'm happy as long as I get to equip that sword right away. Okay. Nightmare, do I have your blessing? <clears throat> okay. I'm going to accept. You'll be much stronger now? Yeah, it seems like I got a lot of souls. Cool. It's kind of weird. I'm used to going to that lady. There's that- there's this lady who, like, levels you up in Demon Souls. She has, like, a staff. And she has, like, wax in her eyes. <clears throat> Remember, this is the first time you're leveling in this run. That's why you had so much- I, I- thank god you reminded me for it. I- I completely forgot about that shit. Okay, so my health bar is bigger. I have more stamina now. Oh wow, it takes like one bar now. It's good. I got more stamina and I do more damage. <clears throat> and I have more defense, right? Overall for leveling up. So let's see if we can equip a, hel a helmet now. No, it still slows down my roll. <coughs> still not there yet. There's a body with a claymore, I think. Okay. 
Let's, we're, so we're going back to the dragon now, right? Maybe the gloves? Okay, I'll try the gloves. <clears throat> and then I'm about to ask you guys a million questions about this humanity thing again, because I still don't understand it. No, the gloves slow me down still, too. It must be, like, right on the edge. <clears throat> okay, where am I? Oh, right, these guys have respawned. I gotta be careful, because the dragon... Oh, he is blowing the fire. Alright, which... Which corpse am I looking... It's one... <coughs> one of these ones? There's like an extra area too here, isn't it? It's over here. There's a guy over here. And there's like a, a doorway too. This is if you don't want to go towards the dragon. This leads to the next area. Okay, one sec. Yeah, I, I have some pretty bad luck with dragons and souls games. <clears throat> Demon souls. There's this one part near the end of the game where this you gotta run up these stairs. And this dragon's constantly blowing fire, and you have to, like, hide behind these statues. And <clears throat> it took me a really long time to figure out how to get past it. Shit. <clears throat> you can do the math to see how much load you need to avoid the mid-row. It exceeds 25% of your max load, and you get a mid-row. Okay, thanks. Okay, I'm gonna go back up. I wanna get this sword badly, because that's like my main build. <clears throat> okay, so Nightmare said it was the first body. So, should I run, grab the body, and then run for the door? Or should I run to the door first, wait for the fire, and then grab it? <clears throat> I'm gonna have to do a drive-by on this. <laughs> You'll die. Do whatever you want. <laughs> Yo, Eggplant, thanks so much for the sub, dude. Happy New Year's. Hands in pants. Alright, I'm going for it. Wait, what? I wasn't even close! At least I can get it now. I got it! But at what cost? Good thing I leveled. I keep the sword now, right? Nice. Oh, I'm so excited to use this. I was using a long sword before. Uh, where is it? There it is. Two, two, two. It says, This larger type of great sword is normally wielded with two hands due to its weight. This highly flexible greatsword can be used to attack in swings or thrusts. That's cool. These are the other weapons I have. <clears throat> uh, does it tell me how much more damage it does? Right now it's 106 and now it's 136. But I might get a fat roll now with this. Yeah, I got mid-roll now. Shit. Okay, this is the one hand? Yeah. Ooh, I really like the swings on the on this sword. It's so cool. Look how huge this sword is, guys. Imagine this sword in, like, real life. How big it is. He's resting it on his shoulder. We have a cleave. <clears throat> Take off the armor, put on the gloves and helm. And then we have a thrust with our R2. This is my two- is this the two-hand? Now we have a vertical. And then the cleave. It's kind of backwards. It's backwards with the one hand. <clears throat> cool. Ooh, I like that. I'm just seeing all the different types of attacks I can do. Hey, I'm practicing. Go away. Now I'll practice on you. Yeah. Damn, look at that range. Um. 
Okay. So we uh we move some equipment here so we can roll better. Okay, let's put on the gloves. Yeah, we're still good. And the helmet. <clears throat> oh no, the helmet slows me down. So we just got gloves and pants. Okay. I wish were you had a big sword. What the hell? <clears throat> So cool. There's like a heavier sword than even this, but it's like too heavy. I don't like it. I like this. This is like good. That's cool. So I also want to check out the bastard sword. And if there's any other swords that have this kind of like same uh, style, <clears throat> let me know because I want to check those out too. Oh, it burnt me. Oh, the timing. At least it doesn't instantly kill you in this game. Not even close. And it did instant kill me. What the fuck? <clears throat> What the hell? Am I supposed to go the other way? <laughs> when you run, you take more damage? Oh, shit. That's like Diablo. Hey, why did my, why, why did my souls appear there on the stairs? Okay, I'm gonna go that other way. Why is he not breathing fire? <clears throat> I got 500 souls for that. This is a nice farming spot. How do I farm it though? How do I get those guys to respawn? Oh! You mean just go to the bonfire, run back there, let them all die, and do it over and over again? Oh shit! I blame that on you for you distracted me. You did that on purpose. <laughs> <clears throat> Both hands. Jesus Christ. You guys get off on this game way too much. Okay, let's do this again with less death. Fuck. I'll take the back door this time. You won't see me coming. Bam. No healing for you, noob. <clears throat> what are you doing? You wuss. Excellent. Oh, let's get those guys killed by the fire again. <clears throat> wow, thanks so much for all the subs today, guys. Wow. Crazy sub train. Thanks, Dark Lord and Eggplant. Thanks, guys. Excellent. Oh, there's mice in here. <clears throat> oh, I'm like poisoned or something. Can the poison kill me? I'll take that as a yes. It's okay. <clears throat> It's a banger! It's a Harukin banger! Damn poisonous rats. Man, that whole area is dangerous, hey? Between the dragon and the poison? 
Casino, thanks so much for the 10 bomb, man. Dude, happy New Year's. Thanks so much, guys, for all it's the gift banger. bombs and subs today. It's a it's a I'm glad you guys are enjoying some, some retro. I hope you guys get brainwashed. And then you guys beg me it's for retro banger. in the future. It's a banger. It's a That's cool, man. Banger. Yeah. We're gonna play some retro tonight. We're just chilling. Tomorrow, a new year begins. And, uh... <clears throat> we'll be back to the Ryu grind. I really hope 2024 is sick, guys. 2024 is the year of Season 2 Street Fighter 6. It's also the year of the balance patch. <coughs> so I hope it's great. <coughs> Why are so many people playing Dark Souls right now? I don't know, it's just a coincidence for me. Huge coincidence. Eris is playing too? I don't know, it's just a strange coincidence. I'm playing this because it's a run back for me. I didn't beat this game before, so that's why we're doing it. And things are slow right now for Street Fighter, so I was like, wow, this is a great time. And I was playing so much Resident Evil, I wanted to give the chat a break from Resident Evil. So it's just an odd coincidence for me. <coughs> yeah, the salty runbacks. Wow, even Qua with the gift sub. Thanks, Qua. I farm enough souls to buy nine at arrows and shoot the dragon tail. You can shoot the dragon. I need to throw daggers at these rats. <sighs> if you destroy his tail, you get a cool sword. Really? Oh, this tail right here? You can target it? That's cool. That's so cool. <clears throat> I like the little easter egg stuff. Now one R2 kills these guys. I just gotta swing really early. But they stun you pretty bad. Here's my souls. <clears throat> Wasn't there two? Oh, this guy's alive! Wow, that poison lasts a long time. Look at that timer. It lasts a lot longer than Aki's poison, that's for sure. Undead perish. More dots. Wait until you see toxic. <laughs> Hollow soldier armor. Wow, look at that. There's like an armored doggo there. Who's this guy? Holy shit! It's another uh, Black Knight guy. Uh oh. And I'm poisoned too. Oh shit, he fell down. Time to heal. I don't know if I can beat this guy poisoned. Ah! Fifty-four. Oh, he hit me on the follow-up swing. Oh my god, I'm gonna get poisoned. Ah! Heal time. What? what? The fuck happened? Oh my god, the jank. Dude, that poison sound tilts me. Okay, we gotta get there not poisoned. That would be helpful. A lot easier. Hey, good thing you guys told me to kindle this bonfire. We seem to be using it a lot. At least it stopped tilting me. That's true. Yeah, man. 2024, guys. I hope it's a kick-ass year. We got drip-fed drip, drip fed pretty hard this year. The first season of Street Fighter VI, waiting five months for a character is just so crazy to me.
I really hope Catcomb's plan is to release everything at once. <clears throat> the copium is real right now. You can cheese the Black Knight on the stairs. Oh, really? It looked like it looked like he had problems attacking me. And there seems to be a lot of cheese strats in this game. That's cool because the combat's realistic. Oh no! Do I still get his souls? I think I do. Okay, let's see if I can try not getting poisoned this time. <clears throat> wow, I hit the one behind him. Okay, there's one more in here, right? Nice. How did I do that? Oh, I pressed forward like this. That's the kick. The jump style's pretty good. Ooh, I like the swing. I don't have a stab move, guys, with the with the claymore. No stab move. I gotta remember to block too sometimes. Like even though it's like doesn't reduce all the damage, if I know I'm gonna get hit, I might as well block, right? Roll attack. Roll R1. Okay, yeah, roll R1. Yeah, the roll R1 looks good. Okay. I have to get used to, like, all the different swings is important. <clears throat> uh, oh, yeah, we need to do the run back on this guy. Wow, 128? I do so much more damage now. Wow, that attack is slow. Oh, I didn't know he was going to do three. Oh. Damn, that, that threw off my timing. I didn't know he was going to do a triple on me. Auto tracking. Yeah, he did kind of auto track him, but you know what? I get tracking too because I can target him, so he can target me. Makes it fair. I noticed this game doesn't have that like very obnoxious like buffer. Like a lot of people complain about that. There's like a buffer in Souls games. I know a lot of people complain about it in Elden Ring, but it doesn't seem to be too bad in this game. Where's the fire thing? It's still there, but it's not, like, obnoxious. <laughs> it has the biggest buffer? Really? Oh, maybe I'm just not mashing. I don't notice it as much. I tried to hit him as early as I could. <clears throat> Damn. The jump attack's kinda, I don't know, maybe I should've just hit R2. The jump attack is so slow. Alright. It's, it's poison time. I don't mash like most people because I play fighting games. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know, I just know it's like a huge complaint. Like, I always see people talk about it. Fuck, I gotta heal already.
Oh, I'll try to get a backstab on him. Oh, shit. I didn't, like, I got hit by that third attack again. I didn't realize he was doing three. Yeah, the OTG. I could have saved myself. I didn't even press roll there. I was just walking towards the stairs. Yeah, the gas leaking sound tilts me, dude. The poison is so powerful. Every time I die, I do the walk of shame up that bridge. <clears throat> what are the big games of 2024 you guys looking forward to? 2023 was insane game-wise. I mean, obviously I'm looking forward to Resident Evil 9. I know all you guys are excited for Dragon's Dogma. Yeah, Tekken. Tekken comes out real soon, right? It's just a couple of weeks. Tekken will be fun. We'll play that for sure. That Paul character is pretty cool. He was easy, like you guys said. Okay, so this means I'm not poisoned. It just means that if I get hit again and it fills up, then I'm poisoned, right? It's like Dungeon Dragon style. Oh, even my R1 kills me. <laughs> Excuse me. In one in one swing. <clears throat> All right, nice. <clears throat> There's a Persona 3 remake. Wow. That Persona series makes so much money. New Atlas IP is that an RPG? Happy New Year's from the Midwest, Vesper. Really? Oh, wow, you're right, dude. We missed the countdown again. No. Every time, man, I miss I miss East Coast and, and Central now. Happy New Year's, guys. So the next up is me, right? Mountain time. Yeah, one hour for mountain time. That's me. You guys are from the future. And then we have to say <coughs> Happy New Year's to uh, Pacific. Super West Coast guys will be last. Oh, I didn't even see! Okay, I remember he had three attacks this time. Move out of the way so I can play. Okay, that attack was so delayed, it was unreal how delayed that attack was. Can you please move, bro, so I can play? <laughs> Dude! He just wouldn't move. I couldn't get past him. That was whack. So jank. <clears throat> Is this Dark Souls? I mean, if that example wasn't the most Dark Souls thing you've ever seen. It's 7 a.m. for you. Nice. It's realistic, baby. Okay, just don't get poisoned. That's like so important. As long as I don't get poisoned. Oh, you piece of shit, dude. Oops, wrong attack. Nice, that's what you get. Bro, I hit it so early. Okay, let's try R1 instead. Traded, but trade is good. Yeah, R1 seems to be the way to go instead of R2. Mm -mm. 
<clears throat> Yay, it's a good start. Oh. What? He does really good damage to him. <clears throat> he just does good damage to us too. Oh, that's the delayed one. When he turns around. That, that attack is crazy. Oh, I, I wanted to backstab him. A little spinner there. Oh my god, I'm so lucky that it didn't hit me. Oh, that's a delay. The spin. <laughs> no. Oh no. Ah. Heal. Oh, he clubbed me right over the head. No, the delay. Oh, I remembered. I did it! Nice. Taunt time. Wait, don't bow! That's whack! I don't respect him. Shit, I meant to point down. Damn, I did the cringe taunt. Damn. No drops! I know. Unlucky Vesper. Wouldn't it be a Vesper arcade run if it wasn't unlucky? You know what? We should um, go back and spend these souls. I got so many. I'm gonna go back and level up more. <clears throat> All those times we went back to the Bridge of Shame. Vesper almost committed the second sin of Dark Soul. Getting impatient at the last two strikes and dying for it. Hey man, he was lit though. He was one shot. I had I had to go all out. I think if I hesitated, right, and didn't seize the moment, it's kind of like taking a throw when you're in the corner and you don't drive rush out and you just sit there. Fortune favors the bold. <clears throat> Got lucky with the poise dagger? Never lucky. Always skill. The chunks are useful for our uh, upgrades, massively enhancing your weapons. Yeah, you guys definitely have to help me with that. So you guys can make help me make a cool build. Alright. Let's level up. So what should we should what should we do? Keep going up in endurance so we get better rolls or maybe just do one of everything? More vitality. The more we level up, the more expensive things are going to cost. Just one of each, maybe? <clears throat> are you guys okay with this? Endurance and Vich should be my goal. Okay. So, 18-18. <clears throat> Alright, gonna level up. We're level 20 already. Alright, let's continue our quest. Oh, we gotta fight those mice again, though. So that Black Knight, I'm, I'm assuming, is not gonna respawn, right? Just the, the whack mice. I forgot to ask you guys, what are you guys doing for New Year's yourselves? You guys are just chilling, watching the stream. But any, did you, any of you guys go out already, or... You guys doing any plans or anything? Get 10 intelligence next time? Okay. Watching Vesper die in Dark Souls? Yep. <clears throat> you at work on New Year's night? That's crazy. I hope you're getting triple time. 
You just got back from dinner? That's awesome. That's good. No! Nice. I grabbed his waist cloth before he fell down. Nice. I'm starting to get used to the range of my weapon. Yeah, I did snatch those pants. I'm like, give me your damn pants. Alright, looks like we're going this way now. We're getting close... Closer to where I left off, actually. We didn't, like I said, we didn't play too much. Mm -mm. Yeah, how am I gonna deal with this? Did I aggro? Did he aggro? No, okay, good. <clears throat> oh shit, where'd this asshole come from? Can't trade with my weapon, it's too strong. Oh, there's a staircase here. Oh shit. Hey, can I do a drop attack on him? Oh shit, he did so much damage on- Did I do a drop attack on him? I couldn't even tell. Or does it have to be from a certain height? Drop attack into his mouth? That's scary. Hey, I can hit him and he can't attack me. <clears throat> the combat in this game is realistic, like that. Look, he can't do anything. Wow. This is the Vesper. I'll call this the Vesper. Wow. Free. You guys like my strat? Oh, what'd he drop? Fang bore helmet. Cool. Oh, these guys have arrows and shit. That's cheap. <clears throat> now I can attack these guys. <clears throat> Pog helmet? What? You guys are getting hype? Was that a rare drop? Did I get a stone of Jordan? Stone of Jordan. Wow, look at L. He's here and he's yelling at me. Happy New Year's. I need to heal. We can check that helmet out. <clears throat> Ouch. Nice. Alluring skull. Alright, let's check out this helmet. Fang bore a helmet. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know how to even compare the helmet to the other helmets. What the hell? Where did this guy come from? Jesus Christ! Holy shit, I'm on fire! I'm just trying to check out the fucking helmet! Oh my god, dude. Does that pig respawn? Twenty-six. Wow, it has so much armor, guys. And it has what? Wait, I'm confused. Why does it have strike, slash, and thrust? Can you guys explain that to me? And lots of poise, bleed resist. Wow, it looks cool too. The character looks kind of funny though. This might be better than equipping some some of these uh some of this equipment. Close. Hold on, let's let's work out the math. So gloves is thirteen armor, right? Thirteen plus thirteen is twenty six. And the helmet is 26. Yeah, we can rock, we can rock the helmet. Cool. We need to really level up our, our endurance, though. 
But Bunky says we need to level up our intelligence too. I really want to start to... Uh... Man, look at those skelly cheeks! We really need to... Be able to roll here. But yeah, Happy New Year's, guys. Happy New Year's. You guys super excited for Tekken? Who are you guys gonna main in Tekken? I still gotta find my main, but I, I definitely should be using a simple character. A very simple character. Is Paul the most simple character in the game? Is he like the Honda? King? King looks kind of cool. I think using a grappler would be cool in Tekken, but I don't know. I just don't understand the game enough to like... ...use a grappler, probably. <clears throat> Leo? I see a bunch of guys saying Leo. I don't even know who that is. You guys all like different characters, though. I, I noticed none of you guys said Kazuya. That means you guys are all casuals. Only someone sweaty would say Kazuya. It's like Street Fighter. The character you main kind of gives you some information on what kind of person you are. Oh, I did the kick instead. Bam. You said you wanted a simple character? Yeah, I want to learn uh, Tekken. Somebody to start with. The arrows can't hit other enemies, right? Oh, I see that guy. Look! That guy ran all the way around. Look, that's where that asshole came from when I was checking those items. Look at him go. Look at this asshole go. He's gonna run all the way around up the stairs. This is the guy that killed me. I'll be waiting for him. Look at this piece of shit. Ugh. Wait, what? Man, you got stabbed by a claymore. I don't think you're supposed to use the sword that way. There's nothing else up here? No hidden loot? Oh, I can't jump over this. He's a soldier. He's a sneaky assassin, that's who he is. Killed me. Yeah, there's a path down here, too. Yeah, there's a guy at this gate. Looks like I'm forced to go down. You descend into the depths of the 1200s early tonight? That's awesome, dude. Now it's time for you to climb out or swim out. I have seen the depths many times myself. It's a jungle. <clears throat> But climbing out is always the best. Best feeling. You can get past that gate before it closes. Oh, really? That's cool. Speedrun strats? I like those cool little, like, small kind of Easter egg stuff. I think that's sick. You guys told me you can, like, attack the dragon and shit. Mystery key. This game is filled with stuff. The passion, Joe. 
Damn, R2 for days. Hey, there's an item here. Can I get it? Jank platforming. Cool. Oh yeah, I have all those items that give me souls when you use it, so you can like... It's basically like a guaranteed way to get souls. Uh, and not worry about dying. Because you can just use it at the bonfire to, to level up. <clears throat> Kino platforming. Oh, it's another boss already? Oh no. Those doors don't always mean boss fights, right? Oh look, there's a there's a dude here. I gotta sneak up on him. But bam! Wow, I did a lot of damage to him. Can I OTG? I got some cool armor. Night shield. Shields are for noobs. Vesper, did you see the Akuma poster? <laughs> I wouldn't be a very good content creator if I didn't. I would probably be the worst content creator on the planet if I didn't see it. If I said no, you guys should all unsubscribe immediately. <laughs> I'm like playing Dark Souls? No, what are you talking about? <laughs> but yeah, I saw it, bro. Everyone is super excited about it. Uh... But it's also very questionable, and plus Capcom missed a giant opportunity to show off a picture of Ed on 1-2-3 day. But I guess they can wait and do it again during Street Fighter uh, 14, a hundred years later. Who's this asshole? I gotta be careful going around corners in this game. You're more hyped for Ed? I I don't know. The excitement for Akuma makes me excited, right? People get so hyped for Akuma. And he does look really cool. So. But I am excited for Ed, obviously. It's like a little maze. Oh, it's the other side of the gate. Oh, nice. Time to get my revenge. My revengeance. Oh, he turned around, though. Oh, shit. Damn, high ground jump swing? Basement key. So we have a mystery key, and we have a basement key. So even if I skip this gate, it wouldn't be much of a sequence break. I was just here. But good level design nonetheless. Stairs are OP in this game. You know, stairs are also OP in Resident Evil, because zombies can't grab you on stairs. They can only puke on you. So you can knife them down quite easily. Mm -mm. Oh, there's a big armor dude in there. He looks scary. Yeah, the R2 range. Definitely want to use the R1 when you're going for whiff punishes. Let's see if I can lure some of these guys out of here. Oh shit, did you see that sneaky fuck? Fuck, dude. Oh, dude, he's pointing at me. He's feeling himself. What? He can parry? What? That's bullshit. Realistic combat. Triple stab? Damn, that guy was sweaty. And he was a weasel, too, because he tried attacking me from my blind side. Alright, last boss is in there. These guys should be scared of me because of my crazy helmet. It's kind of cool. They have different weapons, so like they attack differently, depending on their equipment. The humanoid guys, you gotta really pay attention to. Always watch your corners, Vesper. I know, right? Check your corners. Checking. I don't see anyone. 
This guy looks like a new- Ah, what the fucking shit was that? Okay, you didn't say check the rooftops, asshole. Fucking check the doors, the corners, the walls, the fucking windows. Check your pants. Check everywhere, noob. So stupid. Wow, this bridge looks super unsafe. Someone needs to maintain that. Wow, look at this party over here. So many enemies. What? You can't heal? That's against the rules. Who's shooting me? This asshole? Ah. It didn't stun me though much though. Okay, we can go down this way. What's this lead to? Oh, this is from the other angle. I think he's aggro. Oh, yeah, he's running towards me. Uh, I need to fight this guy in an open area. Over here. Holy shit, what kind of weapon does he have? Oh my god. He has a potato masher. Ah! How's he able to swing so fast with that thing? Sixty-six damage. Oh my god. What? No backstab? Uh-oh. Like you can hear feel the power of each swing. What a noob! Fight like a man! Man, everyone drops these fucking shards. Okay, which way should I go first? Should I go this way first? Or should I go down this way? In in the church? Or outside the church? Bridge? Down the bridge. This is a bridge? Doesn't look like a bridge, guys. Oh wait, it kind of is a bridge. More like a staircase. A staircase bridge. What's that? What's that sound? Sound like someone's breaking into a safe. Go to the church. It goes straight to the fire link. I would rekindle this bonfire. You're gonna be visiting it a lot. Rekindle this- what bonfire? Oh, this bonfire. You guys want me to kindle this one too? This is an important one? I wanna see what this noise is. Oh, we can upgrade our weapons now? Wow, this guy's going to town. Look how huge this guy is. It's Akuma? It kind of looks like Akuma, yeah. It really does. Well, you must be a new arrival. I'm Andre of Astora. His name is Andre. And speak to me. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to do here. Special Ember required for blacksmiths to ascend weapons. Reinforce weapons. Reinforce armor. Repair equipment. Oh yeah, things break in this game. Learn gesture? Oh wow, I got a new gesture. It was free. That's kind of cool. Okay. Ask a blacksmith like myself, or do it on your own with a grindstone. The nice thing about weapons, they never betray you. So pay them a little respect, hey. Okay. Purchase item. He has shards. I'll be seeing you then. 
Be careful. And there's a path down here too. Okay, so what do I do? Am I close to the other weapon I'm grabbing? The bastard sword? Shouldn't I see which weapon I'm gonna use first? You can buy a bastard from here. Really? I didn't see any. Oh, I didn't go across. Oh, here it is. Here's the bastard sword. Okay, let's compare it directly to our sword. So this sword's gonna have the exact same move list, right? As, a, as the claymore. This standard greatsword is normally wielded by two hands. Usually swung in large arcs and effective against multiple foes. Far from ideal when fighting in tight quarters. Almost the same. Claymore is better. Um, how do I cross compare it? Like, how do I know how much better or worse it is? I press square. But I don't see like the green or the blue. Check scalings. Oh right, there's scaling. I forgot about that. How, how, how do I compare it to my weapon though, guys? Do I just check manually? CC. So that's strength and dex. And claim more. How do I check? Items. It's also CC. It also does 100% crit, 103. So it's pretty much the same weapon. 16, 10, 60, 10, 40, 40, 38. 60, 10, 40, 40, 38. 60, 10, 40, 40, 38. The stats are like identical. Bastard Sword is a lighter Claymore. Okay, well, I'd rather use the Claymore then because it's heavier. Nightmare said that the R2 is different. Oh! What's different about it? My R2 right now is a cleave. Next step is checking the base damage. Last step is knowing when the scaling ranks up when you upgrade the weapon with Andre. Claymore has more range. And the Bastard Sword has more damage? Or is it just a different attack? I mean, I'm down for using either. But we should choose now which one we're gonna use. I like the Claymore's attack so far, they're really nice. It was a thrust. I like the cleave. And I like the, the overhead. Same damage, it seems. Oh, you can do R1 into R2? Or did I accidentally uh, press forward? Oh, I completely forgot about the combination. <coughs> okay, are you guys cool with me using the Claymore then? You could just buy it and test it out, it doesn't cost much. Okay. Well, uh, you need it. Where do I see the cost? 3,000? Claymore is Pog? <coughs> you should buy his kit. Okay, so what do we do first? Uh, you're talking about the repair box? I should buy the repair box first? It costs 20k, we don't have enough. Okay, so what's this reinforce thing you guys told me to do? Go reinforce weapon? And then we're gonna reinforce the claymore? What does it cost to do this? Does it just cost souls? 400 souls and one shard. Okay. So should I upgrade this, guys? You can pop bang souls. 
Yeah, I could. Is the repair box that important that I should get to do that? Okay. 2K, you mean? I don't know. It says 400 on the top right. Upgrading auto repairs. You never know. Okay, I'm going to upgrade this. Oh, the box has cost 2,000. Oh, my bad. Okay, I'm repairing. Okay, do I have the chat's blessing? I don't want to make any mistakes. The claymore is going to be like my main weapon for now. Okay, but one more one more question. One more question, though. There's no other weapons that have like, that are like the claymore or... Okay, whatever. You guys will tell me ahead of when, once we finally find more weapons if we do. Okay. So, do it again? Does reinforcing it uh, add, make a better scaling thing? Reinforced into plus three. Early reinforces use cheaper shards that are easy to get. I kind of, it's this is very similar to Demon Souls. I just don't quite remember. In Demon Souls, it's like you upgrade your weapons. They require a very low thing, but eventually you you reach this weird thing where you can change how your weapon is. Like you can make it like a fire based weapon or arcane based, or you make it so it's like sharper or more blunt and like weird shit. But I'm sure you guys will explain this to me in the future. I'm just gonna reinforce it for now. Weapon paths are much better streamlined in this game. Okay. Yeah, you had to do some weird thing where, um... There was, like, a bunch of secret weapons in Demon's Souls, and you had to use the, the demon's souls... Uh, to, like, unlock certain stuff. Instead of using them. Okay, so let's buy this repair box. And you guys said to detonate some souls. Let me double check the price again. So now my claymore does more damage, right? Repair box. It says required souls. Two thousand two. Why is it? Why is this? Why is there four different messages? One says, "Oh, maybe the crest cost twenty thousand. I understand. Okay. So buy one. Okay. All right, we good now in this shop? We're good now. Now you guys want me to kindle this bonfire, right? Because you says I'm, you guys said I'm going to be using it a lot. But crest is important later. Okay. We can grab it later. You just got to remind me. Okay. So I'm going to use that. Um, I'm going to do a reverse hollowing, right? So I do a reverse hollow and then I kindle. Are you maxed out with your sword? I think it's only plus three. Uh... Is there a way I can find out? Yeah, Claymore plus three. It didn't let me upgrade anymore. Okay, I'm doing reverse hollowing. You can get the plus five, then ascend. Okay. Ascending sounds cool. You can buy smaller shards from Andre if you want to upgrade the plus four or plus five. Okay, let's do that. And then I Kindle, right? Yo, Happy New Year, Jock. Yeah, Happy New Year's, everyone. Hope you guys are having a good one. It's gonna be New Year's for me real soon. In 20 minutes. And then... Pacific Coast. And then everyone's in 2024. Okay, you guys said I need to buy shards, right? Let me see here. Purchase item. Um... Oh, not purchase item. Uh, reinforced weapon. And it says in we need two Titanite shards. So Titanite shards are here. And I'll buy two. And then reinforce weapon. Claim more. Now it says I need three shards. So I'll buy three. I can only buy two. 
So we gotta detonate some souls here. Um, where are these soul item things? Uh, large soul of lost. Un let's use these small ones. Use item. Uh, I don't know how much these give each. Only 200? Now what? Now we ascend. I noticed that Claymore is not in this menu anymore. So, ascend is modify equipment. I need a special ember to do the next step. <clears throat> okay. Alright, we're good now. Alright, good. You guys are good backseaters. Damn, look at those cheeks, man. Now we got muscular cheeks. All right. Uh, all right, we got to find out where we're going next. I can go down here. I can go up to the church and there's a path down. So we have three different choices now that we can make. Surprise, I don't hear uh, fireworks popping in the background. Either Vesper's got a good mic or his neighborhood's banned. Well, first off, remember, I'm in the middle of the woods. I'm like in the middle of nowhere. So, I highly doubt I'm going to hear any fireworks. Plus, it's not even New Year's until like... 15 minutes for me. No, I'm just celebrating with the crickets. Yo, what's up, Frito? Happy New Year's, man. Hello to the cheeks, yep. Okay, which way am I going now? We got three paths. We got that church upstairs. There's this path all the way down here. And, uh, gate first? Gate first. Uh, is this the gate? Yeah, that looks like a gate to me. Mm. I got my Tarzan build and all my guys got a thong. <clears throat> mm. Wait, who's this guy? Is that an enemy? This guy's got some crazy armor. <laughs> Can he even see? I've run flat up against a wall. Or a gate, I should say. The thing just won't budge. No matter how long I wait. And oh, have I waited. So, here I sit, in quite a pickle. Weighing my options, so to speak. <laughs> Still closed. Still closed. Mm. That sucks. He's waiting for this gate to open. <clears throat> okay. I don't think there's anything I can do here. Okay. Now there's two paths left. Now we go down or we go to the church. <clears throat> church time? Alright. We're going up now. You guys said the the church leads back to uh, the fire spark, right? <clears throat> oh wait, these enemies respawned. I forgot. Oh damn, I'm one-shotting these guys now, man. Our build's too strong. We're too cracked now. <clears throat> nice, we got a shard too. Anyone creep around here? Does this big guy respawn? 
No, he doesn't. But there's a, there's a dude up here, right? Can he hit me from here? This guy's an asshole. Firekeeper Soul. What's that? Oh, these guys respawn too, though. Uh, it enhances your heals. It's an important item. Got it. Uh. Oh, am I supposed to be here? Uh-oh. What did I do? Don't be an idiot like me and consume the firekeeper soul. Okay, I won't. The chat won't let me. They'll yell at me if I do something stupid. I make sure to be really careful not to do things because these games are really like complex and have so many weird nuances and stuff. Oh, nice. We're back at the... the uh, oh, it's a fire link. That was called the fire spark. There are stairs under the bonfire here. It leads to a fire keeper. Give her the soul to boost your Estus flask. We can boost it more than 10 now? Hey, it's this guy again. This guy's an asshole. Oh my. You again. Oh, I know. How about this? I have to await my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? What the hell? Wait, this guy's trying to teach me noob magic? Isn't this for scrubs? <coughs> Do I need to learn from this guy to get those spells I want to enhance my weapon with? <coughs> so I hit no then? Okay. That is a shame. But each to their own. Speak to me if you have a change of heart. Oh, I can choose whenever I want. Okay. This guy, so Miracle is like priest magic, like heals and stuff, right? <clears throat> okay. Um, you said there was a staircase. We're all right here. Oh, what does this guy say now? Don't you ever think to fall? your weapons you'd better find a smith box soon unless you enjoy swinging about with blunt instruments <laughs> and this guy backseats you it's scaled with faith right so what am i looking for oh here no response she cannot speak uh reinforce estus Use Firekeeper's soul. Oh, that sucks, dude. So you got the item and you used it right away and, and you, did, you didn't wait a few more minutes to go to this? Oh, that sucks, man. You must have restarted your file. That sucks. It makes it so you get more heals off a drink? Wow, that's so strong. Because we can use it like 10 times. So you get multiple firekeeper souls in this game then to re uh to like reinforce it. There are finite per run. Damn. That's cheap. See how it it, it says SS flash plus one? Oh yeah, it does. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> Alright, so I guess I'm going back to the elevator now, right? We're gonna explore the rest of that church. I don't want to... I think the bonfire by the blacksmith is good, so... This is pretty cool. Now, see, now the world is starting to connect. So it's easier to traverse around. We're just in different, going in different directions. I already explored up here, right? Yeah, I did. There's like a little pathway thing here, though. Is that a secret? If you're brave enough to explore the grave, there's another sword there. I really like the claymore, though. 
This is, we're pretty much all in with the claymore right now. That's gonna be my weapon. You can go downstairs to get your magic. Oh, really? Shit, we should have done that then. It's a bigger sword. Yeah, I don't want like the biggest sword. I like the sword at this level where it's like one step bigger, you know? I really enjoy this kind of sword, the Claymore and Bastard Sword in Demon Souls. Well, let me let me explore up here and then we can go back. I can check that magic spot. <clears throat> Every game gives you fast travel now. Kind of fun not having it early in Dark Souls. Well, it, like, you can pull off not having the fast travel, but you have to make sure your level design is good. If your level design sucks, then not having fast travel can really suck. <clears throat> like, if you played the second, uh... <clears throat> Game Boy Advance, uh, Castlevania game? What was it called? The hell is the second one called? <clears throat> Harmony of Dissonance or something? Or no, that was a PlayStation game. You guys remember what it's called? Oh, it is Harmony of Dissonance. That game's map design is so awful and you don't get the fast travel until like later. Oh my god. And your character moves so slow. Oh, it almost gives us uh, all the way back. All our health back. Oh, okay, I gotta be careful of this guy. This guy casts spells. Oh, I heard him pretty good, though. Oh, he sent his goons on me, though. I don't know what he's doing. He's dancing. Wow, there's all these guys here. Oh, shit. I can't see shit, man. I gotta clip their toes. I need to heal. Broken straight sword. Where do you go? Oh, he's right here. Got him. What a noob. He's going dungeon mode? <laughs> Yeah, I actually played uh, Blasphemous a long time ago. I played it off stream. I enjoyed it. That's right. I have to warn you that there is a path here that is BS to find, but it will lead you to the asy uh, asylum again, but with new cha uh, new changes. Okay. <clears throat> These fists of mine. This is everything I have. You never hear that because you never combo into the super without using the dungeon stock. <clears throat> what do I got to do? Yeah, we can go now. I'm just exploring. I gotta I still gotta go down to the fire fire link and get the spell thing that nightmares tell me about. <clears throat> the game's starting to open up now, so I want to try to keep track of everything. Oh, you want me to go to the fire link? Okay, one sec. What's up here? Who's this? Oh, still human, are you? Then I am in luck. Could you help me? As you can see, I am stuck without recourse. Oh, we used the mystery key. Now the only key left is... What was it? Prisoner key? Thank you. Yes. Sincerely. I am Knight Lautrec of Karim. 
Little trick. appreciate this, and I guarantee a reward. Only later. Okie dokie. Yes, very sorry. Your reward will have to wait. I have just been freed. Allow me some time. Okie dokie. You gotta be careful, even in Demon Souls, there was like a bunch of NPC guys that are like really sneaky. This one guy was like slowly assassinating all the... All the guys. In my town. And I didn't even realize it. He was killing them off all one by one. And he looked like a guy from uh, Bloodborne. <clears throat> and he was like, acting all innocent. He's like, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I just slowly noticed it getting more and more empty in the town, and I'm like, where's everyone going? What the hell? Isn't this guy dead? Jank soul. Anything up here? <clears throat> Summon knight? Summon this phantom? Cancel. Oh, it's the- that sun dude. We can summon him at any point? Isn't that for noobs? Alright. Oh, there's a boss up there? I gotta go back to the fire link. Because Joe's telling me about something. And I gotta get that spell. Holy cow! Happy New Year's! Give some time! Oh my god, it's midnight! I'm in 2024, guys. I'll let you know if they announce Ed. Holy shit, that was crazy timing, Sword. Happy New Year's, everyone, and thanks, Sword, for the Giganto 20. It's a celebration. Yay! Retro and gift subs. My kind of night. Oh, I gotta go back down the elevator. <laughs> happy New Year's, guys. We got one more Happy New Year celebration in an hour for Pacific. <clears throat> Super West Coast, you guys are the last ones. As you're going down the elevator, gotta roll off onto a platform. Roll off onto a platform. No vest, get the elevator key. You need the ring? Get the elevator key. Mm. Yep, yeah. happy new year's everyone. No go here, not there. Okay, I'm going down the stairs first. Oh, the guy I saved. <clears throat> Hello there. How did he get here before me? That's crazy. Sunlight metal. That was an evil laugh. It's a banger! It's a banger! Well, it's a Haruki banger! Be greedy now. <laughs> you sound so Excellent. evil. Excelente. Thanks so much again, Sword. Happy New Year's, everyone. It's a banger! It's a banger! He seems nice. It's a Haruki banger! <clears throat> you again. What is it? Our oh. future is Let's not be too friendly. Okay, where do I go? For this magic thing. Nightmare. Keep going down. Down. How do I go down? Oh, stairs here.
Wow, look at this creepy room. It's a this area is huge. It's a banger. It's a Haruki banger. <laughs> oh, lever. Is that for the elevator? Oh, this is that ghostly area. I hate this area. I'll see here. Check the don't. I got a dono mixed in between two. Wow. You guys are so kind. You guys are so generous in 2024. Sorry, I missed it. It doesn't tell me the notification thing. The chat has to tell me. To do. Hold on, I'm trying to click it. Do, 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 do. Holy macaroni! A hundred bones from sword! Says Year of Akuma is here. Also, Ed. I have to refresh this thing because it says 100. That's so much. Bam. Look at that. Wow. So kind of you, Sword. Holy shit. 20, 20 bomb plus 100 bones. Yay, I'm not going to live on the street in 2024. Thanks so much, guys, for the support. I'm so happy. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you're enjoying the retro. Wow. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully Twitch will, will somehow integrate that notification thing, because, man, definitely didn't want to miss that, man. Paying for Vesper's pizza parties. Man, now I feel like a pizza party tonight to celebrate, but... <clears throat> I don't think anything's open on New Year's. I'm not sure. I do have the pizza guy's number on speed dial. I could call him personally and ask. But he might be drinking. And he seemed kind of creepy. I don't really know if I should, you know, call him. Happy New Year! Sorry, thanks again, man. Seriously, dude. Not just for, like, the crazy, insane donation and the gift host, but just your years of support, dude. If you guys look below the stream and see Sword's record, it's, uh... It's deadly. It's deadly. Single-handedly keeping Vesper off the streets. <laughs> And getting away with retro instead of playing Street Fighter every day. We owe Sword a, a, a free pass to make me play any game he wants, but he has not cashed out on yet. I told him uh, last year. So, if Sword gets to the 2K mark, then he'll get two free passes. Let's just hope he doesn't spend it on Final Fantasy XII. Or like Death Stranding or something else that would be terrible. That would also put me on the street. So... Thanks again, Sword, man. Appreciate it. And Happy New Year's, everyone. So, so kind. Final Fantasy 2 again? It'd be pretty sick to have an excuse to play it again on stream. <laughs> we actually don't have Final Fantasy 2 on the second channel. We just played it, like, casually. <clears throat> yeah, Final Fantasy 2 is very special. Mega Man X6. Okay, so where am I going? Is it close to here, Nightmare? Because if I have to go deep into this area, I'd rather do it later. Staircase on the right going down. Staircase on the right going down. Here's a staircase. It's not going down. Here's a staircase also not going down. Staircase on the right going down. Going down. This staircase? Dude, it's- Oh! There's a guy right here! Hmm? This is unusual. You haven't lost your head. And more importantly, you're free. How on earth? Well, I shouldn't cry. I'm Rickard, Vinho. Rickard. It's an established smith. Look at me now. Can you believe it? Okay, now what? Hmm? What is it? Have you- don't worry. No intention of escape. It's safe here. I can't bear the thought of going hollow out there. Although, I must admit, there's not much to occupy myself with. How about <coughs> I could forge your weapons, albeit with rather minimal. Trouble. He's another blacksmith? I'll show you what may be the best in the Okay. What kind of items he has? He has spells. Sorcerer's Catalyst. 
We haven't reinforced armor either. He sells baby magic. We're both cursed. I'm dead. Fuck. What's their real tomorrow? Uh, okay, so what am I what am I doing? <clears throat> Inflicts magic damage. You buy the catalyst or wait for a drop in lower undead bird. Oh, I have to buy this, and then I can. Ca but I don't have the spell yet, right? <clears throat> That's okay. We can do this after. Smithing helps suit them. Oh, it's free when you get. Oh, I can get it ahead of time. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. No rush then. Now I know where we have to go for that. Okay. Uh oh. Where am I? This is not where I came from. Yeah, I know where he is now, exactly. Okay, I'm gonna go back to that church and go to that top area now, right? That's like my next path I'm going on. <clears throat> yeah, I know where he lives, that jail cell. Why don't they free those guys? There's, he's so close to the shrine. I like the music that plays when you when you come here. Cause you're like, oh nice, I'm back home in base. Elevator key? Guys, what's this thing that Pepsi keeps talking about? He keeps yelling elevator key at me. Streamer do this. <clears throat> yep, yeah, the Resident Evil safe room music. From the elevator, you have to roll off onto a ledge. Oh yeah, you guys, uh, Joe was telling me something about this, right? <clears throat> okay, let's go do that now. No pants run? Well, I got this cool helmet, so if I equip gloves or pants or anything... Uh, I get the mid-roll. So, this is what we look like. We're like, we got a Tarzan build going on right now. It's pretty cool. Oh, you mean I have to roll off like while it's going down? Is that what you guys are saying? Like onto that ledge? There? Oh, okay. I didn't realize I can. There was like ledges here. Cool. Uh, at the at the platform, this shit. Oh wait, no, I can walk. Here. Uh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can I go back up? Uh oh. Uh oh. Is that bad? <clears throat> hey, there's a chest here. I found a secret. Talisman Morning Star. Cool. Hey, I found another secret. Did you guys know about this? Red Eye Orb. Hey, there's a third secret here. Wow, there's like tons of secrets here. Another talisman. Might want to heal. Get okay. Oh yeah, this is the creepy graveyard. We gotta go back. Oh no! Creepy skelly bros! Oh no! Jason and the Argonauts.
That movie was keen though. I watched that shit in school. When I was a kid. Why can't I pick this up? Why can't I pick this up? Oh shit! It's an ambush! Fuck! You guys should have told me there were skeletons in a graveyard. It's on the stairs. He's so confused, this guy. <clears throat> oh man, he's got a rolling attack? In, uh, in Demon's Souls, one of the worlds has, like, these, like, metal skeleton guys. They're super annoying. They roll towards you and shit. Hey, a scimitar. Okay, so roll on that same ledge that I rolled on. Okay, let's try this again. This time with more jump. Okay. So this time, I'm gonna run jump. Hey, there's an invisible wall- no, 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 there's- <clears throat> So this is the item I want over there, right? So I'm gonna run jump here. Joe says, wait, I'm about to run. Oh, the chat's saying wait a bunch of times. Go back. Stop. <laughs> I have stopped. There. There? Here? This? It's so funny when the chat's backseating me. Yes. Got it. Okay. Okay. Now what? <clears throat> I'll go here? Uh. Okay. Undead Asylum West Key. This key is really important. <clears throat> yeah. There's an item here. Wait, I could have went all the way around to get this item? Oh shit! I thought it was a secret. Alright. Now Pepsi can stop yelling at me now. Streamer, do this. Do it again. Go to the same spot in the stairs. Oh no, listen to Joe. Gotta do the jump again? Why? I already got the fucking key. What more do you guys want? Okay, I'm gonna go to that spot where you guys said stop. Do I go down go here again? Yes. Okay. Now what? Now go up. How do you guys figure this shit out? Oh, there's another staircase here. Do the nest. 
Do the nest? Oh, there's a nest here. Just exploration? The jank exploration? Curl up like a ball? Eyes? What's that supposed to mean, Nightmare? What the hell's happening? Wait? How do you guys figure this shit out? This is Simon's Quest Tornado Logic. <laughs> That's a good comparison. Wow, what are the chances he grabbed us instead of the other two eggs? Are we dead? Google that shit. <laughs> Now what? Where the hell am I? Wow, isn't that the key that I got for this area? Hospital? Isn't this the, tuto the tutorial area? Wow, you guys know everything about this game. That's cool. Reuse assets. Holy shit, he one-shot me! You guys said I was stronger! He lit me on fire! It's where they keep the Ryu mains? <clears throat> oh, time to curl up in a ball again, I guess. You're wearing a thong. Of course they one shot you. Yeah, but you you didn't mention I'm also wearing this badass fucking tusk armored helmet. You failed to mention that, which is the equivalent of my pants and gloves. Yeah. Happy New Year, Psycho. Thanks so much, dude. Happy New Year's, everyone. Yeah, I lost the- I lost my human cheeks. Hmm. Triple longsword? Can I sell the weapons? New Year's isn't for 40 minutes. I'll see. I'm sorry to break this to you, bro. But times are different other places in the world besides California. The world doesn't revolve around your clock. Oh shit! I am in Seattle. Same shit. Are they gonna chase me all the way to? What's that? I can't see shit. I can't see shit. Just run to the bonfire to de-aggro them. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. But then, do we want this checkpoint here? I guess it doesn't matter, right? Wait, what's going on? Where the hell am I? Where the hell am I?
I'm not lost. You're lost. Why are we using the left elevator instead of the right elevator this time? It's a weird mix-up. Nice. Okay. This time, let's not get lit on fire. Mm -mm. I'm in New Zealand, it was 20 hours ago. <laughs> yeah, everyone's from the future. Like I said, I'm finally in 2024 now, which is nice. About 30 more minutes, right? And then it's the last, the last wave. Bug town? Okay, we gotta be careful. These guys look like bums, but they pack a punch. What the fucking shit? Well, here we go again. Something tells me I should put my pants on. Drive rush. <laughs> one, two, three. Man, don't mention the one, two, three. That makes me sad at Capcom's insanely insane missed opportunity of announcing Ed. I could just do that marketing team. <laughs> so, uh, what do you guys want to do for New Year's? Oh, let's do a character teaser. For Ed? No, let's do Akuma. Akuma's cooler. Different armor has different elemental resists. Yeah? What kind of elemental resist does my cheeks have? He's crazy. Guy's a maniac. Holy shit, it still did a lot of damage. Why'd he bite me? Oh, fuck! These guys don't respect me, even though I have a godly helmet. Okay, what are we doing here? What am I looking for? What the fuck? Why didn't you guys say anything? Oh no, the run back! No, you guys had your hands in your pants! No! You guys were f waiting for that for- Ah, you fucking- You guys played me so hard! <laughs> Fuck! So funny, guys. Hilarious. Oh, Vesper's not gonna know he's gonna fall through the floor. It's gonna be so funny. Here it comes. You guys are assholes. Alright guys, switch my equipment so I can do that dash. Damn, we need a, a checkpoint though. So I had to stop using this, going and doing on this stupid path. Shake my hand, Vesper. <laughs> so dumb, I've never seen that before. Why didn't you guys tell me that last time we played this game? Never seen this. 
Is this the the magic of backseating? Yeah, I need to get to that bonfire. That bonfire will only gave me four flasks though, but that's okay. Here we go again. You gotta be careful, these guys are animals. Nice. Good stab. Ooh, the Ford R2. The Ford R2 is kinda sick. What? Oh, I gotta hold forward. Not tap for it. Okay, I understand. Oh, the wall actually crumbles again? Walking alongside the wall. Don't mind me. I thought I killed that asshole. Do I go down here? No, it's on the it's on the front entrance. Wow, why are you guys being so generous today? Happy New Year's. Thanks so much guys for the billion gift subs. Holy shit. Damn. It's a retro night bonanza. Thanks so much, Set in Motion, for the for the five bomb, dude. Appreciate it. Thanks so much, guys. I hope you guys are having a kick-ass 2024. This is what happens when you play Kino Souls. <laughs> it's kind of funny we're playing it too, Joe, because we were just talking about it. I was talking shit about it. And then now, like, in the span of like two weeks, we're doing the run back. And it's 2024. Like, time flies. Here we are, playing it now, finally. In full backseat mode too, which is still fun. Alright. Taking off my pants for this one. That's bullshit, it hurts me. Where are my souls? And there's some ads here too I need to take care of. Dude, did you see that guy shimmy me? Oh, fuck that move, dude. Don't hit me. Man. He's got some crazy ass, like... Oh, fuck! I gotta get behind his cheeks! You piece of shit! Oh, I'm understanding. It's the swing. The swing's not actually hitting me. It's just the explosion. Fuck, dude! It scraped my cheeks! Oh, my God. Can you imagine if I was wearing the armor, too? Like... This is awesome, though. We get to fight the boss right away. Which is good. In De Demon's Souls was kind of annoying because there were some some boss fights where there were, you were so far back. Plus, all the bosses are like puzzle bosses. How is this? This guy has the shittiest wings ever. How the fuck is he able to fly? You gotta stay really close to him, that's the trick. Oh, he doesn't like it when I'm behind his cheeks.
chipping his ass down. I'm not two-handed? Oh fuck, I wasn't two-handed, bro. I didn't even realize. That breaks the rules. I'm supposed to be doing a two-handed run. The sword's so fucking big though, it's hard to tell. Man, this guy is only doing butt slam. What a noob. This guy's like a Honda main. You've been one-handing for 45 minutes? That's not true. What? Oh fuck, I couldn't see what he was doing and his cheeks were in my way. Fuck, that hit me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I couldn't see what he was doing. Yay, we got him! We sliced him down. Two-handed styles. Rather than one. Yay. What did we get for that? Oh, we got a slab! Wait, that's not a weapon. Okay, hold on. What is the difference between two-handed and what does it look like? Man, that's really hard to tell. The only way you can tell is that one, he's using one hand and the other is using two. Look at your souls. Wow, 24k? Is that a lot? I'm so angry at you guys for, for tricking me and not telling me I was going to fall through the floor and die. I haven't forgiven you guys for that yet. 
I know you guys couldn't wait for it to happen. I hate it when you guys scheme. You guys did warn me? Really? I didn't even see it. Damn, you fight that boss like three times, man. They milked him hard. Okay, where am I now? Who's that? It looks like a bad guy. Shouldn't we use our uh, souls first here? Before we die? Yeah, we gotta level up first. Too risky. Isn't this back at the start of the game? The ring and doll here? What ring and doll? So what should I do? I have to go through to this guy. I think that's where this, the, the, the fire is, right? But I have to go this way. Go back up? How do I go back up? No, it's the other way? Alright. And you guys remember the layout so well. Alright, level up time. We we really need to bring our endurance up, right? Because don't we need equipment so we can do our rolls and stuff? We have so many souls. So this is like a whole secret area, right? Endurance... what? We can only go up to 24. Should we just max out endurance? Endurance and strength. Strength 22. How's this? How's this? Secret optional area? That's cool. I wish World Tour had secret optional areas. Put one point into Vit. Okay. Like this? 19, 21, 18? How's this? Coming at ya. Don't put any into strength yet. At some point you want int. Okay. How about this? It's go time. Yeah, we don't have to worry about the the intelligence stuff until a little bit later. Right now I just want to get used to using the, the claymore before we get into this, like spell stuff. Is this good now? Ready to hit accept. Cool. Bam. Alright, let's see if we can equip anything else now. Can I put on some gloves finally? Oh no, I still have mid roll. Guys, we need to go harder on endurance. My god, how long gonna be going as a Tarzan? Oops, I'm, not, I'm still not on the menu. Okay, but now we gotta fight that guy. Maybe try gloves, shoes, and armor? I want the helm though. I earned this helm for it. I wanna keep this helm. Okay, let's fight this noob. You have to continue RPing as Tarzan. Oh, it's a dark night, I didn't even realize. But this time I'm back with the vengeance. He didn't fight me when I had this helmet. Oh shit. Bam. Can't see shit.
I can't move. Oh no! Uh oh, he's pissed. I can't see. I can't see. All right, let's try that again. Good thing we uh, good thing we leveled up. <laughs> You're lucky I don't have pants. Over the limit. Yeah, I know. No one's even mentioning Alex, man. Alex was made for Street Fighter 6. Drive Rush Lariat was a thing that's supposed to be. Also, cross up knee stomps. He was made for Street Fighter 6, not 5. 6. Over the limit. Yeah, DDT. Let him rest. <laughs> there is no reason to have Jerry. He could have taken Jerry's spot. Shit, I couldn't see which side was his back. Why <laughs> oh, roll too soon? I rolled, and then I got comboed. She's more popular than Alex? Alex is pretty damn popular. He was like the most popular character uh, on the state side before he was released in Street Fighter V. Plus, Jerry fans don't even play Street Fighter. They just buy costumes. <clears throat> okay, Orochi. <laughs> All you guys do is care about customizing your characters. He's one shot. Bam! Damn, that is 133. Red Titanite Chunk. Who's next? Hey, this wasn't open before. I got a doll. Peculiar doll. And you guys said there was a ring too I had to get? There was a ring? -o? That's where we start off the game, isn't it? In this cell. Doll's important for later. Got it. Now what? Now you want to go back to the room the boulder broke into. Back to the room the boulder. Alright. Whoa! Who's this guy? Isn't that the guy that died? Oh yeah, he's a hollow now. Oh, I gotta fight him in an open field here, so we can do footsies. Wow, he's so fast! That's because he uses sword and board though. Oh. 
Damn, man, he got stunned hard. Oh, I got greedy. I got super greedy. Ah! Not bad, not bad. Heal. Uh oh. It's okay. My boar helm is too crazy. Nice. Ugh. As I grab this shield. Mm -mm -mm. Yo, Scorn! We're getting tier 3 emotes in 2024. Damn, tier 3 em emotes? You guys want a paywall costume 3's emotes? That will make Fort really angry. Pay to win emotes? We'll have to see. Right now, I gotta get a bunch of emotes. I'm out! <laughs> Fucking Fort. I'm out. I did check. You guys were right. They did add a bunch of animated emote slots. There's this weird Twitch alert thing that they want me to use that, uh... Oh shit, another Dark Knight I gotta fight? Let's checkpoint it here. And if you enable that, you get an extra animated emote. Hmm. Level up, you have enough? Okay, we should keep focusing on endurance then. I want to get these pants. Alright, now let's see. Gloves. Oh! No. It's still mid. Shit, dude! Mid roll is actually not too bad, though. I actually don't mind the mid roll too much. Hold on. I can live with mid roll. Man. Mid roll is standard. And plus, like, we can equip everything with this, you know? It's actually not bad. We don't have a stat shield yet, so let's rock this for now. Plus, my weapon is so slow to begin with. Am I two-handed? I have two hands on this. Such an awkward place to fight this guy. Oops, I meant to do the kick, not the jump. Whoops, I pressed forward R2 rather than forward R1. Oops. Yeah, I played I played the original Kingsfield, man. It was crazy. I was actually blown away how ahead of time that game was. It was like a FPS dungeon RPG. The navigating the map in that game and getting the secret weapon was pretty cool. Oh, you piece of shit. You wouldn't let me heal. And like I said, Demon Souls. These are not the kind of games I would normally play. But the chat obviously really wants me to play so they can laugh at me. But I, I ended up really liking Demon's Souls. At first, it was like a little too jank for me. But after a while, I started to appreciate it more. 
now we're doing the run back on this game. Do I still have two-handed? Yeah, I do. Man, it's so hard to get a backstab on him. Oh, I rolled in place. They've been using the same formula? Yeah, I'll bet. It's gotten to the point, though, where I'm sure it annoys them, though. Because when Armored Core was uh, announced, everyone's like, Oh, is it gonna be a Souls Armored Core? Like, everyone just says Souls this, Souls that. And it probably drives the director fucking crazy. still have to play Armored Core. It's got mechs, so you know that's not for me. Automatically. You gotta treat this like Ryu in the corner. Just gotta run this back. They got to be real developers because of the Armored Core series. I don't know how big it is, but like I said, the the when they were, you know, actually just software programmers. When they made Kings Field, it was successful. Successful enough for them to keep making video games and pursue that instead. Like Kings Field is a I think it's a I think that game is a little under underappreciated. I think it's because when we did our retro runs, when we played King's Field, I played it in order, like... We played games from the 70s leading up to King's Field, so I got to really appreciate how big of a deal it is to have an FPS RPG. Happy New Year's, Godlike! Happy New Year's, man, it's almost Pacific Coast time. Four minutes till the countdown. You guys are the last ones to get to 2024. Yeah, it came, they were they were gonna release it on PC, but the timing was perfect because PlayStation just happened to come out during that time. Oh, I could backstab him a little easier when I don't have him targeted. Maybe I should do it that way. A little free form. Look at that spin around he did. What the fuck was that pizza cutter? The only problem is it makes it a little hard to see too when I when I roll. He's not letting me heal, hey? Pizza cutter. Yeah, finding him in this hallway with my weapon is tough. Especially since I can't backstab him.
Oh, no. Oh, nice. I still got it. I was about to say that was the perfect moment to backstab him. Oh, that one shot me. I think he follows you to the water. Don't have to kill him there. I'm already too deep at this point. Sunk cost fallacy. If he wants to fight us here, we'll fight him here. Damn, did you see that pizza cutter slice? Mm -mm -mm. Happy New Year's West Coast. Happy New Year's guys. Yeah, it's 1 a.m. for me. Happy New Year's guys. I think you guys were the last ones. Welcome to 2024. Still no Ed announcements. We got a cool picture of Akuma though. Let's hope we have a kick ass here. Usually every New Year's stream I always say whatever year it was was the wackest year of all time. And there's no way next year can be worse. But I didn't say that this year because 2023 was actually pretty sick. We got Street Fighter 6 this year. And now I'm streaming like full time. And I finally got to sell my house. And I got to move. So a lot of a lot of good a lot of good things happened for 2023. Happy New Year's from LCD. Yep. Happy New Year's, man. RE4 remake. Yeah, I can't complain about 2023. 2023 was pretty sick. Just logged on and I, and I and you remind me of Ed's absence. Not only Ed's absence, but missed opportunity of announcing him on one, two, three day. And now the worst part is when they do announce Ed, everyone's gonna be asking where's Akuma. Because now they teased Akuma, now everyone thinks Akuma's next. Did you see that bullshit spin? Nice. This one shot. I'm going for the jump stab. Bam. 13 deeps. Oh, he's scared. Oh, no. The greed. Greed arcade. Nice. Level up. Alright, let's go get some more flask. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Vesper, why do you play these dead games? Start the year off right with some good guesses in Street Fighter 6. You know, LCD, I have never met someone who talks so much shit about a game, but loves it at the same time. No, I was playing Street Fighter 6 last night and it was a hoot. Well, we got to mix in some retro, too, to keep our sanity. 
Plus the chat likes retro. That sounds like me and Apex. I finally overcame that though. Finally. Took a while though. Uh, the boulder thing should be around here, right? Oh, right here. I don't see an item though. Where is the item? I have to go up more. Oh, what the fuck? The boulder's back! You guys didn't say anything! You assholes, you guys wanted me to get hit by that, didn't you? Uno Moss. Reuse assets. Gar Vesper, careful with the boulder. Thanks, Josh. You're lucky I told you! <laughs> oh, man. Am I- am I go- am I- should be going this way, guys? Oh, this piece of shit shot me with the arrow. Damn, they had like no range. Bam. Oh, that fall up swing is so sick. Hey, that's that key you guys told me to get from the from the firelink thing. That's crazy. No wonder you guys told me to get that key. That's high level shit. Rusted iron ring. Hey, that's that ring I couldn't get before. Wow, you guys know so much. Alright, what does this ring do? Improves balance on poor footing. What's that mean? This iron ring was used to shackle the guilty. It is terribly rusted and faintly stained with blood. Those who find this strange ring to their liking will be pleased to find it's easier to gain footing on poor ground such as swamps. Oh, I can move around freely like in water and shit? That's pretty good. It's one of the best rings in the game? God damn. Okay. Cool. Thanks, guys. Alright, now we can leave now, right? I can go back home now? To the crow. I like the hint of what it does because it's rusted. You like a lot of things about this game though, Nightmare. It's weird. Passion? <laughs> you guys not hug this game so much. Ouch. Okay. Oh! Gotta watch out. These guys are dangerous as fuck. These guys do insane damage. Like that. Nice try, asshole. Nice try. Who's next? Vesper, at the end of the day, I just want you to be happy. Thanks, LC. I want you to be happy too, man. I hope Ryu gets buffed to oblivion. He's top five, and then you get super salty because everyone's gonna say you got carried by Ryu. <laughs> and then you're gonna drop him. And then you're gonna pick some other character you think is bottom one. Vesper, stop! There's a secret merchant. Uh-oh. Joe's even using the highlights on me. He's doing the at. Alright, where is this secret merchant? Go left. Uh, there's no secret merchant. I see the crow eggs here. I will never drop Ryu, really? Even if he gets buffed like crazy? The game would need to be so different to be carried by Ryu, yeah. For sure. Nothing's happening.
The crow's nest is the merchant? What are you guys talking about? Doesn't say press A on it. Guys, I'm gonna fall down this cliff. You guys have lost your minds. So what do I do? The chat will come to a decision. We'll figure out what we do. Go back to the road and try to quit main menu and reload. You can just come back later. Like quit right here. It's not important. Joe seems very adamant on this. So exit here. <clears throat> you drop it on and then quit and reload or fall off the cliff and return if the bonfire is close. Okay, what if I hit quit game? Okay. <coughs> wow, all the raid dolls just loaded in. Oh, there we go. It fixed it. Hey, this is from this is from Demon Souls. The same thing happened. So what item do I drop down? Yeah, I do remember from Demon Souls. That's what should I use? We got a bunch of coins and medals and stuff. It said soft though, not shiny. In this game. The trades are also linked to the lore. God damn. Wait, there's a lore in these games? <laughs> You guys don't know which items to drop? Well, Joe is so like, gotten the hole, but he's not even telling me what items to drop. Well, I don't want to waste any items if I don't know which one's which, right? You can drop a sunlight metal? This thing's not important, this, this, this metal? I can use this? Or a cracked red eye orb. Okay. Yeah, these cracked red orbs I won't use because they're for invasions. It okay, drop. No! I press B. <laughs> like B as in to talk. As in circle. As in the backdash button. That works as well. Well, hopefully uh, he enjoyed that, that parting gift before I left this world. Where am I? Uh, oh, we're close. Oh shit, these guys respawn though? Don't fall down the floor, please. That rush attack? Tilts me. Okay, let's see if my item's still there. Nice, it is. And my souls. You, you, give me warm, give me soft. Okay, pick up item. Purging stone. What's that? Uh. 
Reduces curse build up and breaks curse. Is that good? <clears throat> Oops. Drop. One. No, no. Not that one. Oh, it doesn't want it doesn't want repeats. Enough. Okay. It wants diff wants different things. Okay, let's try the metal now. Now what? Curse sucks. Yeah, I remember that blight area in uh, Demon Souls was crazy. <clears throat> Exit, reload as fastest, or visit bonfire slash death. You actually have to exit the game, hey? That's crazy. Alright. Good thing I'm playing on the PC version. Well, bam You... you... Give me... Is that... that chunk good? Okay, anything else I should drop on here, guys? I did one cracked red orb, that metal. Anything else? Yeah, the Blight Town. Hell yeah, that's good. Really? Okay, good. I don't know what else is not important to throw down. This is a pretty crazy secret area, though. The secret merchant. More souls. It's just various stuff. Okay, so I got the most important thing, which was that metal then. So now I can go back. Put a bomb in the nest? You guys are crazy. Bag cap? I don't think I have that. This is all I have. And a bunch of shards. And weapons. You don't have the items yet for the good stuff, so come back later. Okay, just have to remind me. <clears throat> and the now that I'm going full Nintendo fan mode and like full backseat mode, you guys are very passionate with the backseat. Very passionate. Giving you guys too much power. <clears throat> but then last time we played this, it was like a firing range. So many people got shot in the chat. <laughs> Couldn't control control themselves. Oh shit, I almost died. <clears throat> Dark Souls needs a drive meter? We do have a drive meter. It's just our stamina. Okay, what were we doing last? It's been, this side quest really like distracted us, right? Well, I was at the top of the church, right? So we should go back to the church. <clears throat> yeah, we get to play again, guys. Yeah, yeah. Dark Souls is fun to figure out, but also some of the systems are horribly explained. It's it's just one of the I, I talked about this so many times before when we played Demon Souls, but like usually when we, during the early retro days before Vesper got tired, we had like a no backseating kind of policy thing going on. But these kind of games are more fun when people get to like share what they learned and stuff. Plus the chat goes really crazy, they can't control themselves. 
Happy New Year, bro. Wow, look at all these guys. Wow, I killed so many. Ah, I was picking up that item, asshole. Hmm. Why are you streaming in retro and not Dark Souls? Cause it's so it won't put the Dark Souls games played under my streaming category. <laughs> so when you see games that Vesper Arcade plays, it doesn't say Dark Souls. It says Retro. Which is very important to me. <clears throat> yep. This is the NES version. Yep. I know it's a good call. Everything's retro, man. Everything. Mm -mm. Hey, what happened? Someone got shot? Is he backseeing too hard? And Dan Qual, you're still awake? Oh shit, it's a boss fight, right? Day off tomorrow? Nice. That's good. Did you do anything fun for New Year's? I can't wait, wait to eat some wings tonight, man. I'm looking forward to it. Man, time is going by so fast, too, guys. We've already been streaming for almost six hours. I feel like we just started the stream. Attack the tail. All oh, right, these guys drop like a weapon, right? Okay, I'll try to attack the tail. Oh, I should have grabbed the... A different bonfire. I have to switch the target, right? I can't... How do I target the tail? Or is it the other guy's tail? You can't? You gotta do it manually? Oh! Okay, let me do that then. <clears throat> yeah, different targeting wasn't invented yet. He's pissed off I cut off his tail. They copied that from Monster Hunter. Oh no, the other one's here! Ah, the other one's here! Run away! Ah! At least I got the weapon though. I don't have to worry about the tail thing. Can I cut off the other guy's tail too? Yeah, I think that's really cool, the extra weapon stuff. There's so many secrets and weird things. The the strategy guide makers must have been licking their damn lips in this game. The other one doesn't have a tail. Oh. You got that by accident? I remember there was another boss where we caught off the tail too, but like I said, we didn't make it too far in this. But I do remember that. I remember this boss. <clears throat> Ooh. Yeah, we got his helmet, nice. Yeah, I'm excited for this week, man. I got a feeling Catcom's gonna announce something soon. The first week of January. I think news is gonna really start picking up. I know it's copium, guys. I know. I say this every time, but... That Akuma... New Year's message, it... It boosted morale. There's lots of false info about this game circling to this day. 
Oh, I'm sure there is. Especially the lore info nightmare. But... With a game with this many secrets and easter egg stuff, that's just bound to happen. It even happens in Street Fighter. Especially when people talk about footsies. Wow, that guy got bodied. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, he's gonna knock me off! No! Fuck, this game has realistic combat, so you gotta be really careful of your surroundings. Fuck, man, I've died- you know what? I've died more times falling off a fucking cliff than I've actually died from enemies in this game. And I got the mid-roll for crying out loud. That's normal? <laughs> I wouldn't go as far as say it's normal, but... The worst enemy of all is gravity. The Dark Souls Telltale? <laughs> Seriously, man. I've... How many times have I fucking rolled off a cliff? That's funny. But like I said, I like the... You can fight the bosses quite... Quite soon. Like, the... I... I mentioned with Demon Souls, I felt like a lot of the boss fights, you're too far away... ...from where you die and spawn. Just a little too far away. Which was pretty frustrating. This, this game, so far, it seems like you can get right back into the fight if you die, which is nice. Oh fuck, it's a party over here. Let's try this again, but this time, <clears throat> less falling. Shit, the other one's already here? Don't fall off the fucking cliff! And don't get burnt! Fuck, I rolled too early. No, I tried to finish him off. Fuck, dude. It looks like when you do big damage to one of them, the other one spawns right away, because they're like, holy shit, emergency. At least I didn't fall off the cliff, though. That's the most important thing. I almost did, actually, at the very beginning. And there's so many cool, like, novelty weapon stuff, too, in this. Yeah, in the first Demon Souls... Uh... You can do a lot of grass farming. But in this game, since the heals are Estus Flask, you don't have to worry about that shit anymore. 
You'll always have your heels ready to go. Grass sucked ass. It was kind of funny. <laughs> but yeah, the Estus Flash system was a lot better. I like found like good grass farming spots and stuff. I don't know, it was cool. It's like, oh man, this guy drops this grass. That's awesome. Damn, the other guy's already here? Well, at least the guy used the spear and not the fire. Alright, one on one. Don't roll off the thing. Hey, I got a gargoyle helmet. Not as cool as my helmet, though. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Lights out. We did it, guys. Time to do my pop-off. We did it. The roof boss was hard. That's why I'll call him the roof boss. <laughs> Disrespected those guards. This is a pretty cool fight because it's like you're fighting two bosses this time. The way the remake nerfed grass was they gave each type its own weight and limited how much of each type you can hold at once. Oh, you couldn't stack up 99 of each? How heavy can grass possibly be? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you say you like two at once? It's the menage a trois fight. Keeps you on your toes. Especially since one breathes fire. You gotta be fast. It gives a sense of urgency and makes you want to roll off the, uh, the roof. Where am I going? Wow, we are really, really high up. Is that where the start of the game is? This castle wall thing? Actually, no, we came from below. Way below. Here's one of those bells that guy talked about at the very beginning, remember? He said, ring two bells. There was one way up and one way down. Yeah, I don't want to look down. I'm scared of heights. Did you grab the basement key? What's that? <clears throat> nice. So that's like the first big thing you do in this game, right? Is ring this bell. Okay, now I guess I'm going back. We got a lot of souls to spend too. Damn, they make you go all the way back down. Oh, there is a ladder slide. You just press B neutral. Why don't you guys tell me- Whoa, who's this asshole? Should I kill him? Greetings. I am Oswald of Harry, the pop. No pierced to lack faith. Yet magnanimous of the gods. Come it out of It's a top PvP gesture. Need all sins, my 
Learn gesture. Well, what is it? Oh no. Man, everyone laughs like a creep in this game. Which one was it? I don't see it. Switch? Oh, there it is. Oh man, it's the pop-off. Luke does that same pose when he wins too. I like that. Greetings and welcome back. I am pleased to see the preserving my humanity. Request absolution. Abandon covenant. Here's the purging stone we got. Nightmint. Report trespass of invader. Book of the guilty. Ken players? Ken down players. Boost bleeding resistance. Should I buy anything from this guy or are we good? <clears throat> how we get how about we get your magic spell? He has it? This one? Temporary auto counters via heavy damage. <clears throat> he has some shit rings. Damn. I'm not, I'm in no rush to get it right now, Bunky. So far, I'm liking just using the claymore, but we still will get it. Like the first spell we're gonna get, what does it do? It just makes it so my attacks do more damage, right? For how many swings? Or is it like a short period of time? Ooh. A minute? Ooh, that's pretty good. Alright, where do you guys want to go from here? There was, um, where the blacksmith was, there was like a down trail to go to. And you guys said don't go there yet. And then now we're gonna still continue down this way. Dragon Bridge for spell. Where's Dragon Bridge? Where's that, where that, that guy I saved was? Claymore spawn? Okay, I know where that is. Isn't the dragon gonna kill me again though? Happy New Year's, Molly. Thanks so much. Yeah, Happy New Year's, everyone. Yeah, everyone's in 2024 now. Thanks so much, guys. Let's hope 2024 kicks ass. Because 2023 was pretty sick. <clears throat> Maybe they announced the Switch 2 this year. It'll be really good for running retro. Okay, well, I get so you guys want me to go back to the Dragon Bridge, so I'm going back to the Firelink Shrine then. So the pass I have to take right now is I can go down to that bottom area below the blacksmith. Uh, there's the skeleton graveyard area. There's that creepy ghost town area. 
And there's that dragon bridge thingy too. Wait, where am I? It would be faster to run to undead parish. Really? But I just have to go up the ladder thingy. <clears throat> oh, we should level up too. Should I bring up my intelligence now? Since you guys said I need it next. It needs to be to 11, right? Ten. So ten, and we'll put our vitality to an even twenty. And then I can start focusing on endurance again and strength. So this is good. <clears throat> I like the even numbers. That's fine. Got it. Okay. So you said I can go to the undead area, or I can go this way? To get to the, the dragon thing. I was gonna go the normal way, but I thought you meant there was a shortcut down that way. Yeah, when you guys say the name of the locations, I have no idea where you guys are talking about. I saw undead, so I just assumed ghost place. Oh, this was the way I was gonna go in the first place. Up here. I'm surprised nobody said anything when I was in that ghost area. Mm -hmm. Joe, thanks for the 15, man. Yeah, that's that's where I that's where I was gonna go, Bunky. That was the path I was gonna take, but. Nightmare was telling me about some other place that I thought I was going to. That's why I got super confused. Because I thought it would be faster. Otherwise, I, I would have just taken the normal path. <clears throat> Getting lost is part of the soul's experience? Yeah, but not for us, Joe. We don't have time for that shit. We're in full backseat mode. We have other games to play, things to do, things to see. Ed is coming. We don't have... at any moment. The way I was saying was the way through the fought the boar. Oh. Yeah, I had no idea. Ed is coming after Akuma? Well, that's even crazier than if Akuma's coming first, you know? These guys all get one shot now. Yeah, good thing we did kindle this fire. We actually use that one a lot. Okay, so now I should be able to survive running through this bridge. I gotta make sure not to run too, it does more damage. I think I was running. <clears throat> oh, we gotta go the other way? I know there was that door you told me to, but I thought we... We get to the bridge from that door. Mm-hmm. 
Yo, what's up, Silver? Happy New Year's, buddy. Oh yeah, we got the key for this now. Happy Akuma waiting room? You mean Ed waiting room. Ed who? Don't say that, guys. When you see the Ed trailer and you see how sick this character is, I better see some apologize in the chat. Especially they make him a charge character. Whoa, where did this guy come from? Apologize. Oh, everyone's dropping loot. <clears throat> that crow, you'll never see that character ever again. Okay, where am I? Oh, we're back here now. This is where I fought the Black Knight guy. Yeah. You can replace Ed. <laughs> now we're back to the bonfire. Cool. Snuggly? <laughs> yeah? That tilts me, Joel. You shouldn't have told me that. Someone's chasing me? Who said you were invited? I see doggos. Crazy doggos. Oh no, some bar is filling. It looks bad. Oh, there's a party over here. When it triggers, you lose a chunk of HP. Oh, so it causes a punish counter? Can't underestimate these guys. I take it the twin humanities is just like two humanities in one go. Oh, can I open this? Somebody, please let me out of here. Somebody, anybody, help me. Unlock the door. He doesn't sound very enthusiastic. How did this ever happen? Hey, I got the residence key. Hey, buddy. Oh, wow, we got a full set. Oh, my God. And we got the catalyst. If this was Demon Souls, we'd be... We'd have to go back to base to drop off all this equipment. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, a sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. 
Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. Man, this house sucks. It's just a square room. Oh, hello. I'm and barrels. I will rest a while, then return. He's my magic man? Got it. I have my sorcery. And I will be more cautious next time. Besides, I have an important task at hand. Got it. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I have much beside. Okay, buddy. All right, where do you guys want to go now? Continue onward forward, or or you want to go back and down to that other area? Continue this way? Got it. No more doggos. Oh, what's going on? Oh my god! Creepy thief looking guy. Wait, where did this asshole come from? What the hell? It's an ambush! All these doors opened. Monster closets. It's a trap. Wow, this guy lived in this tiny house. What is the other door that broke open? Is it over here? Oh, no loot. Oh, the bum houses. Oh, are you? What happened to the cheeks? Uh, I found out that mid row is fine. And we leveled up our endurance so much. And we still couldn't, like, equip anything to get the super roll, so... I wanted to, uh... We have to cover the cheeks for a bit. Oh my god! What the fuck? How come the dog isn't attacking them? Oh my god. Holy shit, it's a fucking ambush. Oh, I got blocked in the stairs. Oh, this camera angle, man. Oh, I thought the stairs led up to where I wanted to go. I was rolling into the wall. That makes sense. The helmet is heavy as shit. It's pretty much the equivalent of like the gloves and the pants. And the armor equaled the same anyway, so... Here we go again. I attacked so early. Break this in case I need to run back and need some space. This is where I rolled up the stairs thinking I was gonna go up the hill. Wait, the doors are already broken open. Oh shit, here they are though. Where's the doggo? Oh, here he is. Oh, much easier to deal with now that those guys aren't attacking at the same time. Oh, here they come. What? I didn't hit a thing? Damn, I still haven't hit that dog once yet.
Oops. I mashed on it. That's a lot of Sunny D. I didn't know you can drink multiple like that. That's cool. That's like if you really need some some crazy heals. Cool, we have the whole thief armor too. That's kind of sick. Maybe I'll want that instead. Uh, let's see here. What has better armor? Oh, well, nothing does. The hard leather armor is like better. Is it like that for everything? This has the the black layer gloves has more fire defense. But less lightning defense. Strike. What is this strike slash thrust thing? Oops. Is significantly lighter? Oh, no shit. More magic defense, too. Still have the mid roll, though. Am I equipping the whole ninja gear? Black leather gloves, boots, yeah. Poke slash attack for more weapons. Does that, that doesn't help my claymore, does it, though? This armor is like a lot stronger though. Just less poison resistance. And bleed resistance. Oh, it's defense against those, right? That makes sense because it's armor. I see. We all wear like a combination. There should be like a set bonus like in Diablo. Uh oh, boss time. Oh, right, I remember this one. This one's crazy. It's like super claustrophobic, this one. I can't see. Wow, that attack was so fucking slow. What was that pizza cutter? Oh, double slash. Take that, noob. Key to depths. Cool. And I got a bone. Yeah, this boss fight was super whack because, like, those doggos are coming at you. You're in such a close amount of space and, like, the beginning matters so much. What was the point of coming here, though? It leads to nothing. Poise helps along this fight. Yeah, especially against the doggos and shit. How do you raise your poise? Is it just... Oh, you got the key. It just... Yeah, the key to the depths. It just... uh, What's it called? It matters on the armor you have equipped and uh, a stat. Endurance stat. This boss killed me like 10 times my first playthrough. Hate it. Yeah, I guess it really matters what weapon you have, too, when you're doing this. Hmm. Heavy armor only. Only armor and ring. Oh, your stats don't even matter. Okay.
It's a cool boss, but I know I know it could be super annoying because of the area you fight him in. More doggos? Oh no, he was just rolling around. What the hell? I missed a path. Really? I missed the path. Oh, right here. Holy shit. That looked easy to miss. Oh, he throws daggers. Oh, where did this asshole come from? Check your fucking corners. Oh, that was tricky as fuck. Always check your corners and the rooftops. So dumb. Hey, there's a door here. Hey, I used the key to that door. Should I go down there? Isn't there a shortcut we can open up here? Here, I heard a sound of a bow. What a noob. Always be a paranoid. Be an absolute nut. <laughs> mean like a jury player? Talk? Talk to who? Talk to- Oh, this asshole! What the hell? You stood out of your senses about you. Then why won't you buy some of my moths? He sounds like Gollum. Crazy jury players. This is a wonderful place, don't you think? We have water, moss, moisture, these nice iron bars. I like it here, I really do. Nothing good ever happened to me in life. But now that I'm undead, I've never been happier. Damn! Stockholm Syndrome Street Fighter fan. I love having only four characters per year. It's awesome. Think about all the money I get to save. What do we got here? Sells a whole bunch of moss. Poison throwing knife. Dung pile. Turns enemy toxic, but also affects player. Charcoal. Oh, here's those uh, ghost hand things. Crimson stone. And a whole bunch of different arrows. Guy wants money. Those hands are important. Buy a bunch. I'll buy them when we actually go to that area. And here's the other side of the gate. Yay. More connecting levels. Wait, there's a rat here. Why is there a rat here? There wasn't a rat here before, was there? Prison stones can be useful. Oh, I kicked them. Alright, which way you guys want to go now? I'm going to go use the bonfire at the shrine. And now... Should I keep going down below? Where that boss was, and there was that path I used that key for. You guys want to go that way first, or? Because there's a lot of different paths we can take now. Oh, there's the guy too. Yeah, go through the iron door. Okay, so we're going to go back. Alright, so can I... You we're going to start using the spells now? such compromising circumstances at least we both made it back unscathed incidentally would you care to learn any sorceries you're clearly talented and besides i owe you 
Of course, we will require some materials, but I'm happy to teach you some elementary spells. Are you interested? I am interested. Yes. Splendid. Very well. I am pleased to have a chance to give something back. Well then, let's get started straight away. Okay. Uh, spider arrow. Fall control. Magic weapon? Swords are for casters who wield swords. Right weapon. The power of magic swordsmen of Venheim is predicated upon this and magic shield. Many warriors learn sorcery just for this. Hey, that includes me. Here's magic shield, but we're not going to use shields. Okay. So I want to use magic weapon. Is there any other spells that we're going to be learning, Nightmare, in the future? Or is this the only one? <coughs> so I see the candle beside it shows 10 intelligence. 3,000 souls. Damn. If you get 15 in later on, you get a better version too. Plus some other practical ones. Okay. So maybe we should do that then. Aim for 15 just to get some variety in how we play. Like fall control? Fall control. Uh, reduce damage and noise from fall. Is that useful? Stronger versions later on. Okay, we already have the catalyst. All right. That'll do it. That should help you on your journey. May we meet again. All right, there's no magic bar in this game, right? So we want to equip the catalyst. Do I equip it on the left hand? Must be left hand. So if you want to use, but then I'm kind of confused. There's a spell that he uh, uses on your shield, and the guy said you can use on a sword and shield. So how do you like use both spells if you have to use your left hand? You don't take fall damage unless it's a fatal fall. That makes sense. All right, well, let's use this bonfire. So you can't have both spells at once then? Nightmare? Should we level up too? Oh, so you can't have them both at once. Okay, I was wondering how do you have both at once, but you can't. Alright. Uh, should we start raising our deeps? Any, any of our stats a little too low? I got strength at 17 and endurance is pretty high at 23. I think we should keep focusing on strength and endurance. So we can keep getting more deeps. Maybe get strength to like an even 20 and endurance to like 25. Raise attunement? What's attunement? Number of attunement slots. What do I need to get my attunement to? Up your strength desk, then check numbers for best increase. Uh, okay. Um. The strength e erases my damage by four. And dexterity raises it only by three. So strength would be better. Attunement to 12. So should I focus on attunement now, Nightmare? Because Bunky is saying... I'm only using one spell for now though, Bunky. Okay, I'm equipped. I'm, I'm using attunement. So many different stats I need to upgrade. Okay, so how do we use this spell? I need to equip it, right? 
Is it an item? You have to set the bonfire. Attune magic. Oh, so we can't use the spell yet until I have that stat to 12. All right, I'm going back to that gate now. It'll be real good once you have it. Yeah, all good. I didn't know I needed that attunement thing. Otherwise, I would have put some stats in that beforehand, but that's okay. Something we can look forward to. I'm having fun just using my sword. Here's the creepy guy that sells moss. You said there was something else I should have bought from here? Some prism thing? Prison stone, path marker, drop and listen to check heights. It costs 10. I'll grab five. 20 of them? Okay. I'll buy 15 more then. Okay, so now we're going down. Here's the door right here. New area. I don't remember this area. But it might come back to me. The depths. Sounds spooky. Got that Zelda habit. I have to make sure I destroy everything. Hey, there's an item back here. How was the lighting in this game, guys, in the original, like, PS3 version? Was it really dark? Can you guys see well? The light emits from me, but it's, in, like, in a weird way. Oh, I didn't mean to attack that guy. Turn the brightness down. You want it to be like uh, when we played Alien Isolation. The, ch the chat trolled me on the brightness setting. And I got a big collection of swords. Whoa, who's that guy? Holy shit, look at the size of that cleaver. Mm. Oh my god. I got cleaved. No! I'm for dinner. Mmm. Careful with the butcher. Should have said that before I fought him. He was skinned alive. Mmm. That I didn't know he had that third jumping attack at the end there. It's crazy. Speaking of jumping attack, that guy was crazy too. Whoa, did you see that tracking? That was horse shit. This piece of shit. Oh, fuck. He was skinned alive. Yeah, the level design is so good. How everything connects so well. 
You can get back. Even if you use a different bonfire, you can get back to where you went so quickly. When I was first playing Demon Souls, it was like pure hell. Especially when we went to that Blight Town first. You had to fall all the way down. I was like so used to just killing every enemy over and over again. It took so it was such a time waste. You were dead set on Blighttown first? Yeah, because you guys get, said some bullshit where you're like, Oh, it doesn't matter which place you go first. There's no actual order, which was bullshit. There was an order. That was Dark, Dark Souls fan bullshit logic. Yeah, see what I mean? What Nightmare says, he's full of shit. There is an order. But still, we got like we got a really good uh, mace, the the Wolverine mace from there, which made another area much easier. Cause we destroyed that mountain boss pretty easy with that weapon, so it all worked out. Yeah. Just took me a long time because there was a lot of like trial and error things I didn't know, like using fire on that slug boss and shit. And just I had to die so many times to just get a small piece of information. There technically isn't an order. Technically, but technically you're wrong too. Technically. And you're definitely full of shit. Whenever Joe says something, I know it's exactly the opposite. I'm starting to learn that too. But sometimes Joe gets things right, like a broken clock. So you gotta keep your, you gotta keep on your toes. Mm -hmm. What did I miss is Vesper Wash. We just beat this uh, Minotaur boss in this very small area with these doggos. And now I'm heading towards the depths. And we're getting ready to get some spell to like equip my weapon, but I needed more attunement slots to buff up my weapon. The depths. Large ember. There's a creepy hole here. I don't know where it goes to. It's scary. And I fought this uh, butcher and I was skinned alive. This is a cool game this stream. I really like watching it. Yeah, I mean, a, a lot of people do like watching Souls playthrough. It is a good streaming game. The chat loves it when I die. It's pretty chilled. I think it's more enjoyable for the chat too when we go into full backseat mode. Cause like everyone gets to play too. That's where the prison comes in handy to know uh, if it's safe to jump into. I knew you were going to mention that Joe, the stupid prison. I knew you were. It was only a matter of time. You are going to get off on that shit. But you know what? Let's use it. Let's check it out. Item. Prison. Use item. Look. We see the floor. Wait, what the fuck? Huh? 
Oh, great. Now we're fucked. See what I mean when I say Joe gets things wrong? This is what I'm talking about. Now look at the situation I'm in. Yeah, if you're if you're if you've never played a Souls game before, or you don't know what's going on or what's happening or some mechanic thing, don't be shy to ask me, and then I'll ask the chat to get your question answered. Wow, look at the size of that rat! He's missing an eyeball. Because these kind of games is just like tons of knowledge and mechanics and stuff. Spider shield, cool. Okay, I think I gotta go down now. Mm -mm. You should throw it into a pit to check the sound it makes when it's unsafe. Yeah? Okay, I think I'm gonna plunge and attack this rat. But I better heal first. Bam! Wow, huge deeps! What a noob. Oh my god, I can't see. Sewer chamber key. This is a giant sewer section. Every Resident Evil game has a sewer section. You can get lost here easily. Fall down there, or we can start backtracking. Killed him. <clears throat> As for trusting the bald guy, I don't know. Is the bald guy Joe by any chance? Because <laughs> in that case, no, don't trust him. Oh, come on! <laughs> What's going on over here? There's another pit here. I'm lost and I'm putting this... Oh shit, I'm put in this situation because of fucking Joe and his stupid prism hard on. I need to get back up so I can explore. You heard me. What the fuck is that? Is that an enemy? Fucking sludge monster. Man, he's taking no damage. I fucking hate enemies that only get damage from spells. Oh shit, spell guy fucking dead ahead. He's too tall, he can't fit through the fucking door. Wow, he got, he got blasted. Everything's wobbling over here. Oh, what? He can get in here? That's bullshit. Good thing I got poison resistance because of that armor I have. That special armor. It's cool. Yeah, I rang the bell up on top of the church. Mockery. But that guy said I had to ring some other uh, bell below. Which might be where I am, actually. Wow, look at this area. Oh, I see a ghost door. Where's the bonfire? Holy shit! Fucking ambush! Why don't you guys say anything? Jesus Christ, I'm fucking lit!
poison resist my ass. Check your corners and check the fucking barrels. Box rats were waiting for 30 years for that moment. Let them have it. Yeah, and then they had to wait another year for me to play this game again. They're like, I can't wait for Vesper to forget that we're in here. And we're gonna jump him again. Here he comes! Creepy ghost door. Can't see shit. Is there rats in here? I can't tell which one's alive. Oh shit! That guy was a decoy. <laughs> he was skinned alive. Wow, look at all the mice, Jesus Christ, dude. They're all running away from me, too. Oh, I only killed one on fucking bread. Great axe. This game needs a map. With checkmark doors like Silent Hill. What's over here? Maps are for babies? Are you fucking serious? Do I need to bring up Metroid 2? To make you apologize for saying that shit? Map these nuts. Sewer chamber key. Hey, bonfire. Light it up. It's lit. Nice. Now we got a checkpoint. Good level design games don't need maps. Then how then how come Metroid 1 and 2 doesn't have doesn't have maps then? If what you're saying is true. Knight takes Rook. Checkmate, bitch. How's it respawn that guy? Elden Ring has maps? Oh yeah, it does. Not the kind of map I'm talking about, though. I'm talking like... Shows all locked doors tunnel map, you know? You got the map. Why don't they make a new class for Dark Souls called the Cartographer? It's a Cartographer, right? That makes maps. And then he sees the map. That's his ability. I would play as that class. And he'd mark shit down. That'd be so cool. Journalist class? No. That's Pyromancer LC. I'm talking about a fucking engineer. Cartographer. He was mapped alive. Cause that's whack. Or Kino. What the fuck? Nice. 
check your ceilings. Fuck you. What's in here? Hello? Are we finally back to like the beginning? After Joe sent me on that stupid side quest? Oh shit, Hammer Mountain attack? Mm. Oh cool, we got his hat! It's a sack. So nothing beats our fucking Fain Borhelm. Cracked. What's going on here? Hey, there's a guy here. Did you guys know about this? Demon Hunter? This guy got stuck in a barrel. Oh, there you are. You must help me. Or else... She'll have me for lunch. Uh-oh. Oh, please. It just saves so many people in this game. Oh, there you are. You must help He's free. Why didn't he just climb out the barrel? Thank you. I would have been a supper without you. Feeling in the line. I shot a thing. Thank you. Getting the helm from the first fame board means it's a blessed run. I don't think that's true because I fell off uh, rooftops many times so far in this run. Doesn't sound very blessed. Oh, hello there. Who's this guy? Oh, hello. I'm fine. He's got magic, that's for noobs. Pyromancer? You mean he's a journalist? We got doggos. Okay, now we're back. We're back to uh, where we left off before Joe screwed us over. How did you see this doggo's moves? Oh, I missed the jump stab. He was drive rushing all over the place. Yep. Is this my first time playing? Technically yes, technically no. We saw flushed it a year ago. I don't remember anything. And the chat is backseating me hard. I'm just gonna say no. No, it was a soft flush. I said, let's take a break and let's play it again in a bit. And now we're playing it again, like I said. So, soft flush. Can flush dark souls. I thought you were gonna say you can't flush dark souls, it flushes you. I thought you were gonna say that. What's my my backstep attack? Ooh, we should do that more often. I kinda like that. A pizza cutter swing? It's kinda sick. Oh 
Okay, now we're back. Now we can progress forward now. Now that I have my bearings. It's the same as the running R1? Okay. I'm just trying to see how much of a running start I need. But that's still pretty good though. And my R2? There is no running R2. Got it. Thanks. Alright, journey through the sewers. That's where the pyromancer was. Let's go this way. Should I equip that rusty ring, guys, since I'm running around the water so much? If you want. Well, the other ring I have... I don't even, like, check what rings I have. Uh... Boost defense when health is low. And old witch's ring. So, let's equip over the old witch's ring until you guys say I need it. <clears throat> you can do this trick where while unlocked you turn your back to them, back step, then aim your swing at them. That sounds super high level. I'll try it. What the hell? Where did these guys come from? This, and that, and this. Oh, these guys drop shards. Well, I'm probably gonna use the bonfire anyways and respawn these guys. They're weak to fire, you gotta burn them. Like the slugs and demon souls. Those weird guys with the shield on the front. Alright, let's keep going downwards. Oh, we can level up actually. Level up? We need attunement. You guys said attunement 11, right? That's what I needed? Oh wait, this says attunement slots 1 now. I think we got it now. Tune magic. Magic weapon. Total use is five. Twelve is two slots. Got it. Okay, now we have the spell. Okay, so to use this spell, I have to press left and then I press up. So I press up. How do I use it? L1. Okay. And then it lasts for like a minute. Okay. So this will add magic damage on top of my physical damage.
Oh, I forgot to check the damage comparison. 195, wow. Stray deeps. Now we're talking. Is it gonna hurt those slimes more too? Because it's magic? Oh shit, it's the mice. Cool. It's cool. This is the exact kind of build I wanted, guys. Thanks. This is my dream build. Well, my dream build is actually Wolverine build, but, you know, they nerfed it. Yeah, whenever you fight, like, a big enemy or something, I'll, I'll use the magic. <clears throat> the magic boar build? <laughs> For now, I guess that's what we'll call it. <laughs> Okay, we can go down this way. I think I can jump over this. Where do you think you're going? Oh, no, that's... Uh, those are the big rats. We already explored that area, so let's go down this way. So why are the rats all scared of me now? Usually they're hyper aggressive against me. Is it because I killed that big rat and the big rat made them scared of me? Well, there's a pit here and I didn't even see. Whoa, what the fuck is that thing? That looks poisonous. Cursed. What does that mean? <clears throat> that was a cool looking enemy. Oh shit, my health is lower now, like in Demon Souls. Take it, that's what the curse does. Damn, I'm poisoned and I'm cursed? <laughs> that's death. That's bad? Most curses are pretty bad. <laughs> I still think I was supposed to go down that way, though. I once got stuck here with minimal HP. Yeah. Curse used to stack. They nerfed it. <laughs> That's cool. We gotta get back to that same spot. Oh shit, I wasn't here before, was I? Uh-oh. I want to get back to that exact same spot. Uh, yeah, we explored here before. We came from here. <clears throat> I really want to play Unpatched Dark Souls at some point. That's cool. I really want to play some Resident Evil at some point.
somewhere around here. We already went this way. Still need to do professional run with Ada? I know. Yeah, it just oh, it just came out at such a bad time. I wanted to do the speed running too <coughs> too really bad. <coughs> but I mean We played so many so many new Resident Evil games, it was still good in the end. Now we can do some replays. Of some I've been played in a long time. I'll be fine. Okay, this was the pit, I think, right here. I might die, though. Oh, never mind. Oh, the other one's right here. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Should be a third one. There's such a cool looking enemy, man. What the fuck? It's creepy. Hey, is that me? That kind of makes me think of like uh like a petrify. All right, what else is around here? Oh my god. Oh, there's more of these guys over here? We got a staircase over here, too. Online, you see a bunch of bodies like that? <laughs> That's cool. Reign of the Evil Eye. Uh, HP absorbed from fallen enemies. Oh, we get health for killing enemies? That sounds pretty good. That might be better than our other ring. Potential Wolverine build. It's okay when exploring, yeah. Well, if my health bar is so low, I can get all the <coughs> help I can get, right? guys all get one shot. Oh no, he fell down. Wait, what else is there? You need to use a purging stone to get rid of the curse. The female undead merchant and the dude in the bell tower both sell them. That's the only way? I have to use an item no matter what? <clears throat> Are spoilers allowed? Absolutely. You can go full backseat mode. another way down here. This place is like a huge maze.
Remember we went to the ghost town to, to cure it in the, the first time around? I don't remember Nightmare. That was too long ago. <clears throat> so we can go through here. Or I can go up this way. Oh, there's a thingy here. Gotta jump. Nice. <clears throat> when you're cursed, you can attack ghosts? Oh, right, and we, w we did it purposely, right? That's cool. Yeah, I, I like that they have those, like, weird things where sometimes it could be good instead of bad, you know? Alright. Explored all this side, now we can start going back downwards. That's crazy though, you have to use items to cure your curse though. I figure a lot of people playing this game who like got cursed would be like super salty and flush it. <clears throat> There's an NPC invasion here if you're a human. Oh yeah, does it have any good gear? Potentially can drop stuff. Well, with my luck, that means no. <clears throat> Alright, I see slime. So the whole bottom part wasn't really, didn't really have anything. Yeah, that's the version we played, was the prepare to die version last year. <clears throat> But I heard for the most part, a lot of things are the same. Oh, really? Nightmare? Cool. Good RNG is always... It feels good, man. It feels Diablo, man. <clears throat> oh. Check your corners. The remaster was a cash grab, they barely did anything in the game. Yeah, I, I, I was talking about before when we first started this, like, a lot of people were salty about the remaster, because <laughs> they didn't change enough. <clears throat> but to be honest, if they kept doing that to Resident Evil, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be hype. I think that's sick. I mean, it, it looks a lot better. Like it, having the high feeps, high hertz, and high resolution, it looks nice. Where are you going? Yeah, it's better than your favorite game not getting remastered. What's this? It's locked. It might be delayed because of an earthquake in Japan? 
Really? Aye, shall I? And good day to you. I'm Donald of Zena. I'm just well, a peddler. We already waited five months. We're sure he's ready. You make it sound like uh, these these characters are like <clears throat> Capcom like waits to the last second when they're ready to release them. Ed was finished like before the game even came out. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't see anything here. <clears throat> Box alone inventory management at bonfire. That's cool. Crystal sword. Wait, it was finished before the game came out? Yeah, that's how it is for most games. The content is, is like they tune it, but the content is like, is done. They have to be way ahead. They don't like finish this shit last second. Buy the crystal sword. It's the same class you're using. I think I gotta use some of those soul thingies to buy it. Uh, crystal straight sword or great sword? Or the great sword, right? <clears throat> crystal weapons can't be repaired. So what? They eventually just break. <clears throat> that doesn't sound cool. I did use the DS fix when I played the game last year. It's big deeps right now. I don't really want to use it if it's going to break though. I like my claymore. Weapons breaking makes me think of Breath of the Wild and that doesn't make me feel good. You can go up this way too. Is this a shortcut? It's a shortcut to the bonfire, right? Yeah, okay, nice. We're getting closer. <clears throat> How's the weather been in Edmonton? Uh, it rained today. It was raining and uh, Willie said the roads were like super icy and scary. But it hasn't been snowing. Like, it's been very warm for a long time. I don't get the hype about the new Zelda games. Are Nintendo fans just brainwashed? Nintendo fans are definitely brainwashed, but Zelda games are pretty cool. I haven't played a Zelda game I haven't liked. The only downside is they're just a little easy, a little too easy. Oh, you got some snow? That's cool. More Christmassy, Christmas spirity. Okay, there's some slimes in here. <clears throat> I gotta go down this way now. Hey, where am I now? Oh, doesn't want me to go this way.
Nothing here? Yeah, the kind of like go anywhere kind of thing, climbing up the mountains and stuff is cool. <clears throat> I just really think Nintendo pushed it. Old hardware too long. Like that Switch 2 really needs to come out. Their games just look so outdated. Last time? Oh, cool. <clears throat> we got through this area pretty fast, hey? I remember when I went through this area before Nightmare. I remember it taking much longer. But we got through here so quickly. Okay, let's try our magic sword. <clears throat> it's because you got cursed and went to the ghost town in the middle. Oh, did I? Nightmare? Okay, so I switch to this. Oh no. Now I press L1. L1. And then two hand. Oh, it one shots because my health bar is too low. Shit. <clears throat> okay, let me get the controls for this. Oh, okay, so I have to go into one hand mode first, and then I press L1, and then I can just go to two hand mode. I don't have to actually switch it on and off. Alright. You see, like, now we're really, really close to the boss, right? Like, I, I really like the level design in Dark Souls 1. Even more than Demon's Souls. I really feel like they they nailed it with the map in this game. I can't speak for Dark Souls 2 because I never played it, but... This game in particular, I, I really appreciate the level design. <clears throat> Uh, you can uncurse yourself. Should I uncurse myself? Or am I gonna run into those googly eye guys more? <clears throat> uh, what was the item? Purging stone. Oh, we got this from that crow, right? Breaks curse. Or should I keep it, Nightmare? Because we're going to that ghost place next. What do you think? Or are we going to the ghost place next? <clears throat> what do you think we should do? Your call? Shit, my call, hey? Mm. Well, you guys told me there's a hand thing we can buy, too. And, uh, that allows us to fight without it, too. It's hand thing, so. Just remind me, Nightmare, to buy more of these Persian stones, okay? After we finish this area. So I can, I think they're really useful. Thanks. <laughs> you aren't going to get cursed again? Okay. So. Well, I should still buy some more for the road. Just in case, because it seems pretty punishing when you get cursed, you know?
Oh, I chopped off his tail. Oh, he can grab me? Oh, what? I've never seen this before. That's so cool. Well, I'm surprised I survived that. I want to get my magic but left back up. I have the power. I can't see. Oh, I'm lit. That jump attack's pretty dangerous. Three sixty-five. That was a light heavy. Three twenty-eight. Four oh two for two heavy swings. Wow, he can like step on you. Is there any way to make the magic last longer? Wow, he keeps doing that dumb attack. This is my last heal. Where's he going? Take this nuke. We did it! Magic build. What do we call it? The boar build. Nice. You know, the thing when you fight the super big bosses, they like, they're so easy to dodge because they're so big. You know, you just run around on their butt and you just keep swinging at them. Battle mage build? <laughs> Spell sword. Hey, we started off the game with this armor. That's the warrior armor. That's cool. This is run around in their butt the game. Yeah. Their giants are bums. <laughs> Yeah, you always run around their butt and you just like have these huge attacks. That's cool. We got another weapon too, right? Because we cut off his tail. I don't remember what it was, but. 
There's the Gargoyle Axe. I think this one, Dragon King Great Axe. It must be. If I see a tail, I have to chop it off. That's like the rule of the thumb. This axe, one of the rare dragon weapons, is formed by the tail of the gaping dragon, a distant deformed descendant of the everlasting dragons. The axe is imbued with a mystical power to be released when held with both hands. <clears throat> it has no like bonus thing. Oh, 80 strength, 8 dex. Wow, that's expensive. What's the best Souls game? Uh-oh. You opened up a can of worms. Someone's gonna say Dark Souls 2 and everyone's gonna get angry. Go go, uh, Tail Axe is super OP when lightning enhanced? Really? What is the lightning? What makes it so OP with lightning? Wow, this is cool. You can actually like, go down here. The messages on the floor kept tricking you. You should have found Mir's message where he tell you there's a rock. Yeah, that's true. Using the two hand will reduce the requirement. Okay, so what did we get for killing the boss again? We got another key? Well, oh, I think it's a key to those double doors we just saw, right? By the merchant guy. The hell where's the staircase upwards? <clears throat> what the fuck? Where's the staircase? Can't see shit. Here it is. I'm assuming the key is for this door. Now we're in Blight Town. Cool. We use the Blight. Wow, look, guys, the colors change. Now it's green. Is this the next area you guys want to go to? Whereas we're going pretty deep now. Or do you want to go to Ghost Town? Where do you want to go, Nightmare? Where's Backseater Joey disappeared? You all love this area, Vesper? Something tells me that was sarcasm. Uh, where's the shortcut thingy? Oh, there's some upsides to Dark Souls too? I don't know anything about it, I just know like... Dark Souls fans go crazy when you talk about it. Oh my god, it's an ogre guy. I got no more heals left. Oh, he's tanky too. Uh-oh. Maybe I should have went back to that bonfire. Goodbye. 
It's a controversial game. Here is fine. In your words, the ghost town is a later ordered area. The in your words part nightmare didn't need to be included in that sentence. You could have made that sentence much shorter. You should have just said the ghost town is later. Is DS Dark Souls or Demon Souls? It's a test. Only true fans know. But it's Demon Souls. Well, one thing, one thing, Makri, that Mir talked to me about, because. Uh, Mir, you know, Mir is a huge Souls player. One thing he didn't like about Elden Ring is he said it was too big. Like, some people don't like how big the game is. And it just goes on and on forever, you know? And that's one of the reasons why I'm not play I don't play it on stream, Elden Ring. Is because it's too big. So, sometimes it's a downside. But, I mean, if you like your Souls game and you want it to last forever, then, uh, there you go, right? But sometimes, sometimes less is more. But what they did, and plus it got game of the year too, right? What they did was pretty incredible. And it made a lot of American developers really salty. Well, can I push them off? Oh, he's roaring. What does that do? I wanted to do the jump slice. Oh, Hammer Mountain! Damn, he poisons you too? Wow, he dropped poop. Would you play Boulder's Gate 3 and Boulder's Gate 3 overhyped? I don't think Boulder's Gate 3 is overhyped, man. That game won a shit ton of awards too. Everyone loved it and said they should have won. But Borders Gate 3, I mean, once again, too long. I try to stay away from playing RPGs on stream. Only strong exceptions like Final Fantasy 1 and 2. Those kind of games I like playing off stream anyways because like games that have like a lot of RPG dialogue and stuff like that, roleplay stuff, like I don't want any distractions when I play those kind of games, you know? Some games are best not to be streamed. Because it's hard for me to, like, really invest and pay attention to everything when I'm streaming because I'm talking to the chat so much, right? Pizza cutter. No, I never played Sekiro or Neo. I'm getting like back into these kind of games, but the next one I'm gonna play for sure will probably be like Ninja Gaiden and Devil May Cry, because I've been wanting to play those games for a long, long time. I'm not really into the whole medieval kind of stuff, you know? Whoa, where did that guy come from?
Rest was more into weeb. Especially weeb fantasy. Weeb fantasy is sick. I'm not into like Western fantasy. This guy's got a blow dart. Wow, they did a lot of poison damage. Awesome. Yo, Wayman, what's up, man? You still messing around with the Tekken demo? Man, you must be so excited for a new Tekken game. Wait, when how's your uh if you don't mind me asking your your internet situation? Everything's good? Cuz I remember you were having um you were trying to figure out how to get it all set up and stuff, you know. For your place. Oh, we should spend some souls, guys. We have so many souls. Is there a bonfire coming up that I can use? Isn't there- I really want to get the shortcut, guys, that leads back to the- to the fire shrine. The firelink shrine. Or should I go back to the sewer and spend my souls there? I just don't want to lose my souls. Forgot I got so many from the boss. Are people hyped for Tekken 8? I've mostly heard people talking mad shit about it. I don't know, I've heard nothing but good things. The only bad thing I've heard is the netcode. But even that might get fixed. It's got a huge roster. They brought back the, the Tekken ball. It's a new game, which is nice, because it's like, man, it took a long time for a new Tekken game to come out. Yeah, but the mobs are tricky here. Yeah, maybe we should go back then. But, do you guys know- how close is the shortcut that leads back to the sh shrine, or are you talk- was that what you were talking about? Cause I wanna get that shortcut, like, really badly. Shortcut is far? Really? Okay. Or close? <laughs> okay, those are two completely different answers. Have to go all the way down? Okay. Oh, did I pass the thingy? I did. Yo, what's up, Shinji? Happy New Year's! Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, we're playing some retro right now. And I'm gonna celebrate and eat some wings. It's my New Year's celebration. Who let Vesper put points in the health? Only damage stats allowed. Oh, the chat really wanted me to put stats in vitality. I guess they didn't have much faith in me. Because I was putting stuff in strength. They're like, oh, you need way more vitality, Vesper. Is this my first playthrough? Technically, yes. <laughs> Yeah, this is a remaster of the original White Win. Okay, uh, so a two minute, you want me to get two slots, right? 
Right, Nightmare? So let's get to 12. And then, uh, we want to get some deeps in here. Endurance. Boost up the endurance a little bit more. Well, so I only have knife enough for that. I like the endurance at an even 25 here. And by even, I mean odd. Okay. Well, I got two slots, so we should be good here. And then I'll start leveling up strength for some more deeps. I will follow your lead. Still mid roll. I never played any of these. My first FromSoft was Sekro. Yeah, I haven't played Sekro, so I can't really explain to you the differences. But Sekiro looks a lot faster. It's more like Ninja Gaiden E. Everyone, t everyone tells me that I would like Neo the most because I'm more of a loot kind of guy because I like Diablo and shit. So everyone says Neo is the one I would like the most. Aesthetically, though, I really like how that Bloodborne game looks. It looks really cool because it makes me think of Castlevania and I don't like how uh, this medieval stuff looks in Dark Souls. Creepy roar. I'm sure you'll like Bloodborne and Sekiro, yeah. I love like constantly upgrading my equipment and finding new gear and shit. Like that's like my thing. No shields in Bloodborne? Yeah, I'm not- I don't like shields. I'm not a shield guy. That's why we're doing this two-hand build. I don't like the idea of like holding down block and just like circling around the enemies and shit. Like, to me, that's lame. Still, still fun uses even without normal use. But I think it's cool you can get like you can use them for the stats and shit too. I mean, there's a lot of stuff about the combat that I don't understand with these kind of games, you know. So there might be some cool, st some stuff that I might think is pretty cool. I just don't know about. Oh, I'm targeting the wrong guy. Shit. I was targeting the wrong dude. I was trying to attack the guy on my right. Good thing we we spent those uh, souls. Yeah, doing parries and stuff is cool. That's true. But it's also cool, you can still parry even without shield with certain weapons like daggers and stuff. I think that's cool.
One thing I like about these games too is like, you know, whenever you play these kind of games where they're like big areas, you kind of have this vibe of like all these enemies that are like... They look kind of samey because they reuse the assets of their like body type, but they change the color and slightly change them or whatever, you know? At least with this, I don't get that vibe. Even though I'm sure they still do it. But the enemies here look different. But fighting the rats and stuff in the sewers and now fighting these ogre dudes. The ass stab seems really strong. Yeah. Well, they try to reward you for like sneaking up behind the enemy. It's just that you can kind of, I wouldn't say exploit it, but it's encouraged. You gotta go to sleep, out. It's alright, dude. Thanks for staying up super late, man. And happy New Year's. Happy New Year's, guys. I gotta go pretty soon anyways. So, you're not gonna miss out on too much. We've reached our 8-hour mark. How, how close is the next uh, bonfire, guys? Oh, oh shit, I didn't even fucking see. Not far? Okay. That'll be like a checkpoint. Oh. I forgot I get healed when I kill enemies. Maybe I shouldn't have used the flask there. Normally you can't do that. Yeah, I don't know like which Souls games have that backstabby kind of thing. But the the Dark Souls series is just a little bit slower, you know? Holy shit, the lighting just changed. Spontaneous. Oh, people are climbing up ladders and shit. This guy's got like a club weapon. Bonfire is somewhere at the pillars. Somewhere at the pillars. This place is like a giant maze. It's just really hard to see because the lighting changes really weird. Okay, we know there's a ladder there. Kind of want to see. Oh shit! Creepy ass wavy bridge. I gotta really pay attention to the ladder. See, there's a ladder here. Low lining and no map, you know it. But it's okay, I got the chat this time. My secret weapon. Oh, easier to find if I have my two hand equipped when I have the catalyst thing. Goodbye. What you got for me? Souls of the Proud Knight. Yeah, this area is pretty crazy. Like, all the platforms are like crooked and jaggy, and it's big and open, but it's all weird with platforms and stuff. It's a pretty cool area. Yeah, spooky area. We're really deep, too. Like, we just went down, like, these sewers, and now we're going even deeper. 
Like looking at this game like as a 3D map and like zooming out would look fucking crazy. Like this level design, you know? Yeah, looks like I'm using that ladder. Guys, peel for more ladder spots. Try to look carefully. There's an enemy in here. Yeah, right there, I, sh I should have did the- I keep forgetting that I can still block with the two-handed sword. So in some of those situations, I should do it. Uh... Okay, on, where's the next ladder? Doggos. Does it want me to fall down here? But then how do I get back up? This area is really hard to see. See the, the torches on the ladder? Oh, right here. Wow. Okay. The torches give me hints on where the ladders are. That makes sense. Thanks. That was very tough to see. Oh shit, creepy dog was here though. Waiting for me. Oh, I gotta do this a different way. Take that. Alright, uh, now what? Yeah, strategy. Oh, here's the bonfire right here. Explore this area first. You just murder them dogs? They were demon dogs. They needed to be put down. Oh, there's another ladder here. Wow, there's some enemies on here too. What the fuck? This area. <laughs> it's crazy. Do people really rave about this level design? Yeah. Well, it's it's not just like we're not just talking about the look of the level design. We're talking about how intricate and how connected everything is. Like how it flows. You can make a crazy ass mazy area, but to make it also make sense and flow together is very, very difficult to do. Like this is all, this is all seamless, you know, like yeah, they hide, obviously hide loading screens between the doors and stuff, but...
it's uh really crazy for its time i mean it's still crazy now you know okay so we can go down to that one bridge area and i can explore on this side too this is where i came Poison. This asshole with his blow dart. I kind of remember some of this area too. There's a lot of ladders down here on this side. item over there or it looks like we need to drop down from there is there an item over there on that side well either way we should stop it here <clears throat> i think we made some really good progress for one go Can I level up anything? We beat a whole bunch of bosses. We got our build set up. I'm really liking the build this time around. We got our magic set up. You guys did some really good backseating. Made it a lot more enjoyable for me this time around. Okay. Strength up, I guess. More deeps. Yeah, we got the Predator Helmet. <laughs> we found some rare loot, which is cool. Yeah, I'm really happy with our playthrough so far. He was skinned alive.